Welcome to this 2,000 points Warhammer 40k 10th edition battle report. We have the Night Lords facing off against the Blood Angels, both factions that have been affected by the balance data slate. I'm Mike and I'm joined with Jordan. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm good, man. Good. Yeah? Yeah, you excited to use your Blood Angels again? I 100% am. It's been so long since I've been able to use them on the stream and I get to use my beloved Blood Angels. You do, again. and they're beautiful. I love your Repulsa. Oh, We've got Mike. some cool shots coming in as well. Um, yeah, you've done a fantastic job on these, Jordan. Thanks, dude. Um, and of course, it wouldn't be a Vanguard Tactics live stream without a deck team. So we've got Chris, Orange and Slum in it, on deck, alongside Jake, the most handsome man in 40K. How are we doing? I'm just trying to gaze into his eyes to see who really is the most handsome man. And I'm man. trying to as well, but you're quite tall, so, so all I'm seeing is more like the, the Jake, white. Are you sure it's not the orange? <laughs> it's um, just reflecting. No, it's the slumming it, really. So yeah, now I'm looking forward to this. Chaos Space Marines versus uh, Blood Angels. I want to see who's going to finish this game first. Uh, you know, sometimes it's all about coming second with Blood Angels though, isn't it? It yeah. is. Yeah. I, I agree. I actually think it's overrated to come first. But anyway, let's, let me digress. I don't want to digress. Right, Michael. Okay. Go so, um, Super important, the Vanguard Tactics Academy, um, you can sign up now, links are in the description below. Uh, we have it opening now on the 4th of March, that's Monday, so the course actually opens and starts then. Um, that way all of the students can now start at the same point, and we can check that as we go forward. Uh, so if you want to get more out of your hobby, get more out of your games of 40k, um, and join an incredible community, then do consider signing up to the Academy. Um, you'll hear about it from some of our students later on in the live stream. We also have a prize draw. So if you do sign up during the live stream, okay, um, comment in chat, I've signed up to the Academy, and then one of our beautiful stream people will write down your YouTube handle, and uh, at the end of the stream, we'll pick a winner, and you will get a Combat Patrol of your choice from us um, and then the winner will get you to email us as well more on that at the end when we've picked our winner so back to the game back to the game back to the game uh, we are playing supply drop we are so this is the mission where we have an alpha and we have an omega objective and i'm the yes. alpha you're obviously the alpha the yeah. blood angels are the alpha always they're, that's the legion that's, top dog they're the alpha legion yeah. anyway uh, so the um one objective is going to disappear um, we've got a roll after we've rolled for first term. Mm -hmm. um, there's going to be an alpha objective, which will disappear in the fourth battle round. Turn four. Turn yep. four. And then there's an omega objective, which will be there by the end of the game. Yeah, and then the other objective will be removed. Oh. That's right. And there's no scoring victory points for your home objective. So we're going to have to meet in the middle. Well, you don't want to give it away because you could lose. You could lose. You could cards. give away capture enemy outpost. Jake, Michael. my man, what's I, going on? I have a tip about this mission. <laughs> don't forget which one's which. Because that's mm. what I did, and it didn't work out very well. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Well, you can learn more about that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can. <laughs> away. You can. Look, we cover every single mission. If the tournament suddenly introduces a new mission, you can go back on the academy, you can watch that video, and you will be prepared. Mm. Um, right. So, it's search and destroy. We've deployed. We have. Uh, let's talk about the armies. Let's do it. Who's first? Um, I'm going to press it. Ready? Yeah. It's going to be Jord. Okay, right. Mm. I am running Sons of Sanguinius. I've it's absolutely finally playing loved. Blood Angels. Finally playing Blood <laughs> Angels rather than Red Marines. And these got a buff in the data slate, right? These got a buff in the data slate. So Sons of Sanguinius, if you didn't know, gives you plus two strength on the charge and plus one attack. So in the army, it wouldn't be my Blood Angels army without the golden man himself, Dante. Okay. Dante is leading the force. He is going to be with 10 Vanguard veterans and a Sanguinary Priest. Okay, all with shields. All with shields. So they got a four plus invulnerable save, five plus feel no pain. Um, the thing with the Sanguinary Priest is he has the Enhancement Visage of Death, so he halves all over C when you're in engagement range of the unit. Cool. Um, so that's that unit. We've also got the standard 10 Death Company with Lamarty, so minus one damage, lethal hits, hits like a ton of trucks. Um, really, really strong unit there. We also have another 5 Death Company with Astaraf, so I can do once per game Death Wounds on that unit. Playing all the hits. Yeah, playing everything here, mate. This is um, a very strong list. But anyway, um, we've got six blade guards. <laughs> Get in there. Sorry, um, we'll, let you, we'll let you finish your list and I'll tell you why Chris, an uproar. Okay. Well, right. Chris is happy. Okay, right, so we've got six blade guard and Judicia. Mm -hmm. um, the Judicia's got Artisan of War, so he gets an extra bit, bit of AP. So cool. he's AP three on his sword and a two plus save. Right. Um, 
We've got three units of five assault intercessors with jump packs. Very nice. Um, we've got five infiltrators. We've got a Calidus assassin. Um, am I missing anything? Oh. Five normal intercessors? Five normal intercessors on assault foot. Intercessors. Assault intercessors on foot. Yeah. And a repulsor. Cool. Um, so in Deep Strike, I've got two units of assault intercessors with jump packs. I've got Astaroth and his five death company in Deep Strike. And then inside the repulsor, I have the six blade garden and judicia and the five assault intercessors on foot. All right, fantastic. So it's, it's packed out. Yeah. Okay. Um, and that's the army. Okay, very cool. Very Blood Angels mm. so, well, 44 jump packs. 44 jump packs. That's right. We're going to call it quits tonight, gents. It's happened. Chris has finally got a Vanguard Tactics membership because Clayton Sanford has come in like an absolute legend and gifted 20 Vanguard Tactics members along with a $50 super chat for Sanguinius. Take down those heretic scum. Sorry, Mike. And he's done that smiley face that makes you look like a Lego man. So, you know, don't know how sorry he actually is. Um, but on top of that generosity, we have Wear Puppy with five pounds. Sorry, not sorry, George. But I've got to side with Mike and his Chaos Marines. Show those loyalists who the real combat experts are. Despicable. Along with some membership shout outs, which I will do at the start of the stream. Because, Michael, tell me what's in the Night Lords list or the okay. Chaos Space Marines. The Blue Mar Chaos Space Marines. So, we are, of course, running the Index Slaves to Darkness Detachment. Uh, the force is led by my brand new demon prince. Uh, he is uh, Marcus Lanesh and has the intoxicating elixir. So he's got a feel no pain and can force battle shocks at various points during the game. We have a chaos lord. We have uh, him leading some chosen and they're all chaos undivided. We've got two masters of execution uh, and those are leading two squads of legionaries. All Slanesh um, and all packed into a Slanesh rhino because that's the data slate change. Then we have 10 possessed. Also Slanesh with a Master of Possession leading those guys. Ten Nurgle Cultists, so that they just can't be shot. Uh, a Predator Destructor, also Nurgle. A Land Raider, Undivided. And in Deep Strike, I have five Zinch Chaos Terminators um, and a Chaos Sorcerer and Terminator armor with the announcement, the announcement? Eye of Zinch, uh, which gets me CP if I do Pacts. Okay, so two enhancements in there. Lots of little hitty units. It's a version of the old competitive Chaos Lord spam with Chosen, but I'm trying out Masters of Execution instead. Mm -hmm. uh, and that is the list. Nice. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. So the, the question is, what's tactical special? or fixed? Oh, tactical. Tactical. My list has been built to play tactical. Fair enough, fair enough. Against my better judgment, I'm going to play tactical too, because it'll be more entertaining. Okay. But what, on a mission... What would you have done? So uh, this is... Um, when we talk about this mission on the Academy, actually, we talk about the fact that the objectives disappear, and this makes half of your cards more difficult. Mm -hmm. In the late game, if you draw secure no man's land, for example, there's less objectives. So fixed is usually a better approach on this mission, mm -hmm. because it means that you can consistently score regardless of the objectives disappearing. Yeah. Um, so I would probably want to go assassinate, because you've got loads of characters, and they're going, to, they're going to come at me. Um, and maybe homers or something. Yeah. Um, but I'm going to go tactical. I'm going to see how it goes. You're doing tactical as well. I am. So um, I'm going to rely on the heart of the cards. Yeah. Let's do it. Alrighty. So, so should we see who's going first? Yes. First turn roll off. Six, of course. Okay. I'm actually quite happy with that. Yes. Well, um, I will apply the night fighting rules to this game because um, it's not right. Horace Heresy, As Mike. A, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Big, big up fifth edition. Big up. Yeah. <laughs> big, big, big um, up <laughs> Night Lord's turn one. We need to do the Alpha and Omega first, oh, mate. Alpha, mate. So that I'm is fine. like night fighting. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. for the Alpha, okay. so the one that goes turn four. Sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, this right. one. So this is going to disappear turn four. Yeah, so the one with the weird, like, swirly effect on it. The that's, vape. That's going to disappear. Yeah, the vape. The, the vape objective is going to go turn four. Okay, right. right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we can see where this game's going. So it's obviously this the one. middle. The middle's staying. Could we ask for anything better? Yep. Yeah, so we've got to fight over the middle objective. That sounds good. I yeah. don't. I yeah. don't actually think I've ever seen a game of. I'm not saying this is rigged. But I don't think I've ever actually watched a game of supply drop where the middle one isn't the one that leaves the table. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, it always stays in every game. It's fixed. Cool. That's why. Oh, yeah. Obviously. obviously. No, 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 no. It's um, cool. Right. Well, let's begin the game then. Night Lords. Turn one, we'll sort out any scouts, etc. Do you have scouts? I have no scouts. Oh, neither, so we don't have oh, to do okay, that, we don't even have to yeah, do yeah. that. So, um, <laughs> I'll just sort it the <laughs> We'll crack on, I guess. Well, before, when you, while you guys do that, we're going to have a word, not from some sponsors. 
But uh, what cards? Oh, Sebi. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Seb. Uh, right, so I've got card? Engage. I'll have to redraw Storm Hostile Objective. I've got Secure No Man's Land and Engage on all fronts. So he's got Secure No Man's Land and Engage on all fronts. And now we've done that, can we, can we see the Let's videos? hear from some students who have done the Academy already. So what I've gained from being a part of the Academy was a sense of community. I really enjoyed the aspect of the game of collaboration with others. The knowledge that I've gained from the specific modules, like learning about the movement phase and the shooting phase, it's really helped me feel a lot more confident as a player at the table. The community, so being part of the Discord um, and, you know, just getting to chat to other people um, and, you know, see see the, the questions and uh, the, the thoughts that other people were putting in. Um, but also I'm a lot more confident outside of the game in the sense of the Academy has not only helped me learn 40k, it's helped me sort of how to present myself both in person and anywhere within the game, real life. A positive atmosphere while teaching each other to build and grow versus you know i've won so many i've lost so many instead it's what have we learned from every single one of those games and that always made me want to come back and play more games than anything else right well that was that some lovely students telling us uh, all about their experiences of the Vanguard Tactics Academy. So, Chrissy, you've already won this Check, game, so you could just joke. leave if you want, <laughs> like, like in your eyes. But um, what do you think of this matchup, right? Chaos Space Marines, uh, you've been on the receiving end of Chaos Space Marines. I have been on the receiving end of Chaos Space Marines. And as the dirty meta chaser I am, has also played with Chaos Space Marines. Um, so, have you played against them much post data slate? That's Not post, but funny enough, I'm playing against some first at South Coast this weekend. You are, because we are all attending, everyone in this room, except Sebi, it's okay. Because no one cares about Sebi. Oh no, I yeah. said Sebi could come with me, but um, yeah. he's busy. He doesn't want to hang out with his best bud anymore. <laughs> they grow up so fast. Um, and we're all going South Coast. So uh, Jordan, Michael, myself, and you. And you're running your... Astra Militar. I'm still sticking with the guard because I did not have a good time with World Eats last week against Steve, did I? No, you um it was you were very sad noises. orange and slumming it. Yeah, I was I was red and angry. Red and angry. I was like, by the end of it, I'm just you know what? The Steven. the only saving grace of the entire situation was how small Steve looked next to me. Yeah, to be fair, he messaged me in the morning and goes, oh, the only thing I was happy about that game yesterday is just how small Steve looked to compare to it's, the, it's the little victories in life, you know. Hey, you've got to take your victories. As someone who also has the sentiment of always take your small victories, <laughs> you have to always, always take them. Um, and, and if you if you at home want to look bigger than Steve, <laughs> he has got the Battlefit program coming out soon. He has got Battlefit um, that is coming soon. So, you know, everyone sign up to that. Everyone get bigger than Steve. It would be quite And then all of a sudden we could do the uh, VT fans, only fans, <laughs> rather than the VT only fans. Only fans for the fans. <laughs> <laughs> like, um, yeah, so if you want to, if you guys want to see that, let us know. Um, but yeah, so Nathan Rogers has said, can't get, can't wait to get started with the Academy, guys, in an exclamation point. Um, so to reiterate, we are running a competition this evening. So if you sign up to the Vanguard Tactics Academy with the link in the description below, and if you do all of that and then state in the chat that you have signed up to the Vanguard Tactics Academy with that exact line, you'll be entered in the chance to win a combat patrol of your choice. I know, Seb just said, oh my god, and we're all very excited. So make sure you guys do that and check that out. Um, VT Ben's in the chat, he said, Jake to win the event on, on the weekend. Well, you know, I've just got to have a lot of blood, sweat, determination, and a membership if anyone can just help me out. <laughs> um, and your game one's not going to be too difficult anyway, is it? <laughs> no, I, well, I'm playing... At least Medusas um, don't hit on free against you on that one. No, they don't. Because he has no Medusas. Um, he is running Double Storm Raven. It is Jem James Shapiro, a player I've played before who's local to me. Um, so that would be interesting to get that game in and see how that goes. Uh, I am running my usual Votan, as long as with George, who's running the Blood Angel list, I believe he's using today. And Michael's using his Salamanders list, which we yet have to see on the channel, which I actually was saying to Michael last week, actually, how much I'd actually love to see it on stream, because it is very interesting how it works. Oh, it's um, a very pretty army. He's done a very nice job of it. 
Sorry, are you feeling okay? okay? You said something nice about Michael. Well, um, okay? the, the, the media and the public can hear and see everything I'm saying. We're not in an enclosed environment. That is also true. Chrissy is um, very um, PG around, uh, around our lovely viewers. Um, I've been told to be on my best behaviour as usual. As usual. Uh, it's the only requirement Steve has with me when I come on these streams. That is probably true. Um, so he's doing a lot of movement with his demon prince, which is new. That's a new addition to his army. Which I haven't actually seen yet. So in person or like on on a game, which is cool. Um, he's doing a lot of measuring now. He did draw secure no man's land, so he's definitely got two points on there. And from the top left hand corner, he's got another model there. I think it looks like so that was, means he's going to be getting both the big five for that. And Michael, just remind me what your other card was. Engage. Uh, engage. Yeah. Engage on all fronts. So he's got to get some some models in in some more quarters so he's already got him in two um let's see if he does push out now from that measurement it looks like he is going to push out because um, if he doesn't push out he can't push back against jord that is very true um that <laughs> hey inspirational quotes of the day <laughs> with chris if you uh, don't push out how can you ever push back and if you want to hear more inspirational quotes if you join the academy <laughs> <laughs> um and then oh we've got a nice two pound super chat from james jobs the <laughs> Uh, James Jobson. So. And he said, "Today I will be mostly mostly be eating bourbon bi bourbon biscuits, in all capitals, which means I only presume he screams it at his screen. And uh, so I'm not going to scream it. And and oh, we have another super chat from VT Kobe, um, my new brother in arms, and he says, "What's <laughs> um, um As only he could in that exact voice. Um, so, yeah. We also have, and they're not members at the moment, but they are massive supporters of the channel. It's Big Dante Paints. He's Dante Paints, Dasmol Wargaming is here. as well. And, and what a lovely guy he is. And I, he is a lovely yeah, guy. Yeah, he's frustratingly nice, isn't he? He's very nice. All the, all the nice messages he sent da me. Daz, Daz um, I went on Daz's little Christmas show, and um, I was a very good sprue spotter and also got very disturbed when I was told how, many, how much money 11 dwarfs are. Um, but he has decided, he was asked me to tell something to you, Jord. Jordan? Yeah, I'm listening. He has said, and I quote, tell Jord I'm backing Mike. I thought you were bros. This is, this is up there with top 10 anime betrayals, like Anakin... <laughs> Moving Obi one to one. Side. My brother does. <laughs> I Kobe love you. in the chat's like, <laughs> what? I'm, I'm, I'm gobsmacked. This is. I'm, I'm... This is potentially worse than Home Alone, right? Michael, with that, with that note, please tell us what to to just disregard the bombshell we all had to just go through. Tell me what you did with your turn. Uh, I'm I'm speechless. Well, Thank you're obviously you. not because you just said something. Thank, well. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> I'm almost almost speechless. Um, but thanks, thanks, yeah, Dan. Thanks. Um, yeah, Difficult time for me. all of us here tonight on VT. Um, <laughs> so um, basically, I've moved to get my cards. Can we roll dice now? <laughs> <laughs> I did some advances. I've got secure no man's land by moving out a chosen unit in the middle and some legionaries here. You can see I've towed one person on the objective because I fully expect to be removed from it um, by lethal force. Uh, in Jordan's first turn. Uh, so if he does do any shooting, I want to be able to increase any charges. Um, and if he charges me with multiple units, I want to make sure that they both can't contribute to the fight by killing enough models at the very front of the unit so that the second unit can't pile into range. Um, so just a few little tactics there. So if he does want to come for the objectives, he's going to have to trade into some cheaper units. The Demon Prince has stayed out of the range of the Death Company. Um, I asked Jordan to hold the tape measure over their units that I knew exactly how far they could move. I um, mean, he was kind enough to do that for me. Definitely, re you, definitely I, recommend that. I actually did it so I can get in charge range on that. Tactics. Yep. We don't teach that on the account. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, the <laughs> Nurgles have moved to get me engaged on fronts for a few points. Uh, they couldn't get me secure because they don't have any OC because they're too busy messing around. Uh, and then the Predators stay behind terrain. I have no shooting because you haven't given me a target. Absolutely not. Uh, so that will conclude my turn. Sorry, Mike, can we just confirm what the Night Lords have hiding in that school? Is it in this school? <laughs> so basically, in the school, which... Because that's obviously, obviously the only was... place Night Lords would hang out. It, well... 
behind the um, <laughs> Look. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever watched South Park? It's like that's where like the goth kids and the emo kids hang out, it's like around the back of the bins. There you go. Craft um, a cigarette. Yeah, I mean they've taken it a step further. <sighs> the, the, there's ten possessed in there, with a master of possession. Okay. There's ten. Oh. You've got ten possessed. In there's you? ten possessed in this building, an inch from the wall. Ten possessed in the school. Ten possessed in the school. <laughs> yeah. It's like Stranger Things. <laughs> yeah. The Nurglings are right yeah. here. It might be so they've got you. And sorry, yeah. as you mentioned, up in the, the school at the top is just Deaf Company. Oh, yeah, just so Deaf Company. Well. Yeah, yeah, the other yeah. school, yeah. They're yeah, more yeah, like yeah. chairs. It's going to be like... I, mean, <laughs> I, I, liked, I like the idea of schools and postcode wars right now. <laughs> postcode like it. wars. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's post Salisbury wars. versus Tess Valley yep. Massive. Right. Um, <laughs> so, Michael, with that in mind, yes. how many points did uh, you score? Five for Secure No Man's Land and three for... Yes, engage. three for engaging all fronts. Because you're playing tactical. So I that is a big eight points. Playing tactical, yes. So then going into... Oh, no. Going into um, Jordan's turn, you're both going to be on two command points. Is that correct? Yep, that's right. Uh, would you like to remove the Calidus from the board? I would. Okay. <laughs> would you like to just remove the models? <laughs> right, she's dead now, right? Vanguard yeah, 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 yeah. Academy. <laughs> right, my cards. Stormheart style, which I can't do first turn. Attempting target. Okay, George, those cards aren't going to leap up at you if you they don't. They might do. If they you might can do. place them. <laughs> <laughs> no prisoners, uh, and then Storm goes back into the, my deck. Okay, interesting. So I'm going to follow the tenets of our lesson on tempting target, and I'm going to pick this objective. Ooh. Because it means you're less tempted to try and remove free me from the primary. So I could give you a harder one to get on. That's what you think. But then I would lose primary. So any effort I can make to get you to leave me alone, mm. I'm going to go for. So I'm going to pick this as the tempting target. Okay. Okay. Yeah, happy with that. All right, cool. Oath target. Sebi, I said I've changed it. Just be proud of me. Give me oh. some sort of acknowledgement. <laughs> Just stare me down here. That's fine. I, I, have a, I have a little video of Sebi teaching you prior to the stream going live that I can share with the, uh, the world of Instagram later. <laughs> Teach me what? Oh, it, it looked intense. Computers. Now. No prisoners. Uh, there was a super chat. There was a super chat from Death Guard Dave. And there's another super chat that's just coming. Well, in. let's do it one at a time, Jake, shall we? So, Death Guard Dave, thank you very much for a £20 super chat. £20. Even and gents, how are we all? Much love to you all. Much love to you, Dave. And I, I can't remember. I think Dave's coming this weekend as well. I, uh, I don't recall. Know if he is. Um, so, Dave, let us I've know. I've not if, seen him in a while. But... Yeah, let us know in the chat if you are. Um, Sebby, Sebby's been scrolling. Trolling, vigorous trolling vigorous. Oh, the next one is Timothy Unwin, a five pound super chat. Thank you very much. Pure Nurgle or pure Zinch demons? I like Nurgle. Demons. I prefer Zinch. They're all pink and fluffy and nice. And oh, how, how are they pink and fluffy? They were mostly flesh. Yeah. And then they and then they explode and then they're blues and then they explode again no, no, and no, they're no, brimstones no. and that has no, no, caused no, me trauma. That's <laughs> so right, but they're not. None of them are orange except the brimstones. And Mandy D with the big twenty dollars. She's been. Absolutely typing away in chat, helping some of the uh, the viewers make decisions on vehicle transport lists. So thank you, Mandy, as always, for your support. I'm going to butcher the name of this character, but is Cabanda? Cabanda's the big bloodthirster. I don't know, but he's going to show up turn four and wipe out Michael's army. That's the only way Blood Angels would win this game. Jordan, make sure you say thanks to any demon players for saving you guys, uh, guys at Bal. <sighs> She's just trying to trigger me. <laughs> it's not happening this early in the game. She's done a great job. Um, <laughs> and then Lee Barnes, with 199, has asked the most important question again, as Lee has asked for the ne most consistent amount of weeks. Where is Joffrey? Now, no, he is here. He is in the stream. Michael! <laughs> You've given it away where he is. He's in his home. Um, if you could actually tell us exactly where he is in that cabinet, um, you will all get, well, that person specifically, will get the biggest... Gift of them all this live stream. A crisp high five for me <laughs> when I next see you at an event. And if you don't come to an event, you sneeze, you lose. Have you got any more Joffreys, Jake? Uh, Joffreys? I actually have quite a lot of Joffreys. Which Joffreys it, it, just it, seems to be... It's, ju it's isn't just it? whether any other Joffreys is as badly painted as that Joffrey. Um, I have you know that Joffrey is extremely badly painted. Like, and that's why he's Joffrey, because he's the special one. Um Actually, I do. That's a whole other story. That maybe is actually a story for members members lounge on Friday, George. I can tell you about um, my badly painted Joffreys um, that I accidentally did. Um, but at the start of the stream, we had some members goals or how long people have been members shout outs. And Sebi, they're gone because that's it. It's just them ones. 
It's okay. <laughs> well, Don't continuing on from my sad world eaters conversation with George post, you know, well, prior to coming to a stream. Yeah, well, while you're finding that, I've rather than it. an awkward silence, I, I was it. just going to fill the void that I found a Lamartis for sale. <laughs> so where? <laughs> uh, well, they're not one of our affiliate well, we sponsors, so okay. unfortunately, well, I, I can't where. read it out. Right. Um, but we do I'll, have I'll do it on Chuck and Ori celebrating six months of being a Vanderbilt Tactics me member. Great to see Blood Angels on stream finally get that first win, Jord. Shout out to the awesome VT community for all the camaraderie yep. and joy you bring. Thank you, Sebby. Um, and then we, we did that one. No, that's okay. And then, um, then we've got Don't Nils. Don't ever be sorry. Nils so. the Batman, uh, which is the best one. Uh, member for five months. Despite my deep passion for bats, I have the back. I have to back the Blood Angels tonight and hope for George's first win on the stream against the Heretic Batman. Um, I also agree. I do like Heretic Batman. Is it because he's Batman? And then we have, more importantly, another... Five pound super chat. We're so generous, everyone, tonight. So thank you so much. Um, how many taunts before we trigger George Black Rage? Might have to post S tracks from the Sanguinius versus Horus fight. Well, no spoilers. We can't have any of that right now. I've, no, I've, I've, I've listened to it. That's so right. Yeah, but George, just because you have doesn't mean the beautiful Vanguard, all of the beautiful Vanguard. Oh, I thought you well. meant to trigger me. Um, no, you know and, and, to... and ultimately, not everyone wants to listen about loser vampires, do they? So. You're what buying you them. <laughs> <laughs> thank, 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 thanks, Kobe, that's for that. That's because he has a problem and not because he... I've got an itch and sometimes but do you know one must scratch. you know trigger George's black rage if you're not careful? The fact that we have 284 viewers but only 59 likes. That is, <laughs> that is to me, triggering my rage. It's triggering my rage. And, and we've gone up four, five viewers in the time it took me to articulate that sentence. So... <laughs> Can we all just like the video? Like the video. Because please. nobody likes a sad joke. I already liked it. I liked Guys, it earlier. Guys, I'm ready. Oh, thank God. Right. Well, <laughs> you all better like sick. the video by the time George finished this. If we so... get to turn three, we've not hit 100 likes. There'll be repercussions. Yeah, Chris I'll get angry. <laughs> right. Uh, so I haven't really done too much aggressive movement. I've managed to control the rage for the first turn. I basically moved an inch away from the wall on here just to basically make this unchargeable. Same here, they've gone an inch away from the wall. I've jumped the Calidus down onto that objective, so I've got tempting target for five points. Um, but I will do some shooting, because the Repulsor's moved up just to get line of sight onto these Legionnaires. Okay. And we're going to see if we can hopefully kill them. Good luck. So, the last Talon shots, and they mm. are my over target, because I said it when it was doing the movement phase, so hitting on threes, both hit. Win on twos. Yeah. That's two. AP3. AP3. Uh, so we will begin with the guys in cover. Okay. So fives. Yep. I make one. Okay, one dies. One is dead. Last cannon. Hits. Twos. My lads' weapons don't hit this good. That's another Sounds one like, dead. That's another one's dead. Sounds like you need to get a bit better with rolling dice, mate. I've said that now, and I'm going to be absolutely yeah. Well, with um, dice. well there, there isn't sadly. A module on the academy about how you roll dice. Sounds You're like getting better at it. Yeah, we need to. One. Um, we tried to film one with Stephen. He just couldn't roll good. Yeah. So yeah. we gave up. Sounds I like, like the backhand. <laughs> right. Hit on threes with the last laser defense array or whatever it's called. Mm -hmm. Right. Hit on threes. Oh, it's accurate, this guy. Yes, I am. I've seen some traitors, and I don't. I do miss. Cool. Right. Force to wound you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Decent. Out then. All those so, three. Up, oh, two there. That one's it. Oh yeah, sure, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. You did that deliberately. <laughs> uh, so I lose one more model. Cool. I will. No, my coherency isn't long enough. I'll have to kill the guy at the front. Otherwise, I'll have to remove the master of executions. Well, you can't do. That. <laughs> dun, dun, dun! My right. plan has worked. <laughs> Your plan has worked. My stringing the unit out has backfired big time. Uh, so I've got two options. I can remove the guy from the front and not hold the objective. Or I can remove the guy in the middle here and during the coherency step, remove my master of executions. That sounds about right. I and then I get that. primary points. That's a really tough decision. Hmm. Um, but victory points wins games and it's very hard to score primary. And we all know that my bullets just shot over the top. They did, exactly. Yeah. So it really hurts 
but the unit's not going to do much at that number anyway. So I'm actually going to kill this model. And then at the end of the turn, I will have to remove my character due to being out of coherency. So does that mean I get no prisoners? Yeah. Uh, it will give you no prisoners. For mm. four, yeah. uh, well, sniped for two. The, yeah. I sniped him. <laughs> cool. So I'll get oh. two for no prisoners and five attempt and target. Amazing. Um, nice. So Mandy did just gift uh, 10 Vanguard Tactics members. Which means that I am also a member. Hooray. And Kobe. And Kobe is a member. Right after she called uh, everyone out. Sebi, I paid for two years for membership and then I've just wanted to wait to try and get it again. Um, but yeah, thank you so much, Mandy. And everyone that did get a membership, make sure to say thank you to Mandy. Now, George, that does put you on 17 points. Have any of you spent any command no, points? He's all no, no, no. We haven't even... I've, I've literally just shot some last cannons and... Got I haven't even shot you. You haven't even done anything. Any prisoners. Do you mean two units for eight prisoners? Or no, two points. Oh. Two points. Yeah. I thought yeah. you meant two units because you killed a character and the unit, right? No, no the, the unit's, unit's still there. Yeah. So, so, Chris, get back in your box. Character's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Talking of boxes. <laughs> Steven's here. <laughs> uh, right, so there, there's that. And then you haven't spent any command points. No, we're both Not, on three. So you're both going to go up to three. Yep. And then, Mike, what cards? Oh, what primary? primary. So primary, I will get ten victory points. I hold so two objectives. Shock? I'm going to spend a CP to automatically pass my battle okay. test. <laughs> Uh, and I will get 10 uh, primary for holding no man's land. Very good. Uh, let me just update all the scores. And then cool. uh, what cards did you get? I draw behind enemy lines. Mm -hmm. And bring it down. Okay. Very all good. right. It's time to bring that roof down. So, um, yeah, you can mute me. Head over to chat. Um, we'll hear from students again, I think, round three. Yeah. Um, and yeah, carry on. Amazing. So, pretty good turn turn one there for George. Uh, Michael got put in a bit of a a sticky situation. I think it's fair to say. Um, bit of a pickle. Shall bit we of say. a pickle. Um, should have like if that's the sort of was the goal. Maybe having the master execution on the objective would have been the better shout. Um, because then obviously that could have been the last bit removed. I genuinely feel after watching that, Michael could probably benefit from some academy videos on he, movement and he coherency. Maybe could. Um, um, we do have an important question in the chat, in my opinion, which is um, from Zerking, and he said, "What is a membership?" So, something that we offer here at Vanguard Tactics is a membership system. So, simply, if you go on the channel, you can choose to join as a member. So, it's a four ninety nine a month. You can just pay for one month if you want, just to sort of get give you an idea of the content um, and what me and George do is there's two videos a week of various kinds there's things called pimp my list where we pick random members lists and we sort of you know go through them analyze them pick what we would change what we like what we don't like uh, strengths weaknesses etc um, you then also have uh, certain like event reviews and stuff every Friday at either uh, 4 p.m. 4 30 or numerous times it's basically always on a Friday though um, me and George do a members lounge where you get us for 45 minutes to an hour. We just chat, we answer your questions, just have a good chat. Um, I know a lot of people in the chat currently attend them quite regularly and they all seem to enjoy them. Um, and then on top of that, we also have a uh, the Discord as well. So we are we give you a whole host of stuff for only 4.99 month. I didn't change that bit, so you don't hit me. And clearly, times are hard. If you want to wait and you don't want to quite sign up yet you can go through the youtube system and turn on free memberships and that's where the legends <laughs> like clay and mandy when they're gifting those memberships they're really helping support the channel by uh, giving you that membership for free for a month yeah and you know i always say that's why it's always so important to say thank you for these things um because as i said it will give you a lot of access to also something to bear in mind is it always gives you access to every members video we've ever done and you'll see there's a whole host of stuff on there as well um so yeah that's very good and i'm very happy mm -hmm. um but back to the battle at hand so oh <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> buy me dinner first at least um so he's not happy about some of this alignment is he our seb no he's 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 chat, under... chat may see some things change that's because seb is currently button bashing whilst michael is titivating his land raider he is he's He's got to bring it down, so he... He wants to kill He needs to repulsor. try to kill a repulsor, doesn't he? Because that is currently... Well, that is the only bring it down target on the table. For it is, yeah. Which which sometimes is always a bit of a weird one, because a repulsor is actually quite a juicy bring it down target. Um, but then it's spot. the only one. 
uh, which definitely um, hinders you a bit there. And there's sometimes nothing more infuriating than draw and bring it down when someone doesn't have any monsters or vehicles yeah. on the table, or they're hiding them all, and there's nothing you can do about them. Like a Sajimatar. The Sajimatar. The, the lovely Sajimatar. Oh, but it's quite nice picking them up. What, Sajimatars? Yeah. Yeah, because they're very, like, that small. Toughness 10, 9 wound. Oh, yeah. Watching them finally get destroyed and blow up. <laughs> Oh, yeah. A man. <laughs> yeah, I like pick it like four in one game, five in one game is my my favorite. So everyone is shook. I I currently have Lamartes and Astroraph the Grim and a box of Death Company in my oh, uh, it's, shopping. It's Chris Hobby Watch. <laughs> like. Chris Hobby Watch. Yep. Uh, <laughs> join me on the roller coaster of emotions as I decide what new army to collect. <laughs> what army can I paint based off the color forged can paint schemes yeah. only because. That's my primary colour, and I Cut. refuse to paint anything else. Yeah. Fantastic um, you know, spray paints, the old Colour Forge. Uh, are a lovely sponsor of the channel. Are they but are I do just love the spray paint because it makes my life easy. It does make your Whether life Whether it's easy. the Corn Red, as I can't remember what it's actually called for them. Uh, uh, sanguine, sanguine Red. Sanguinary Red. Giggly like Ghost. Giggly, not, ghost. She's giggly Ghost, not just Spectral, also very good at the colour wheel. Um, so that's always a benefit. Um, I do. Do you know what? I mean, we've said this quite a lot, and a lot of people know my sort of sentiment. We actually spoke about it on the members' lounge, Sebby. Um, and I was saying about how, for the, for the first time ever in the hobby, I just have no interest in doing anything that isn't Votan until Croot come out, and then maybe. Well, that's because you recently acquired a beautiful Votan army. <laughs> yes, I did, Chris. Didn't you? I did recently acquire a beautiful Votan army off of. Um, Oh, what was his name? <laughs> hmm, I wonder what his I name don't was. Know. If only he had an Chris? Instagram. Chris C H. Chris. Chris. Chris with an F. Chris with an F. Chris. With an F. Chris. Big Chris. Chris. Big Chris. No, no, he's not big. No. No. Um, he's more root. Some. It was you, Chris. Just <sighs> before everyone, as we can see, top ten acting skills of 2024 does not go to us. Um, but there seems to be a lot of blood being thrown in that comments chat there. While I'm. Yeah, please, everyone. Chris is trying to go read. He can't read <laughs> with the best of them. <laughs> I think he's he's juggling even more here. Um, Mandy's telling me just to do Necrons. Giggly ghost. She's I, gone. What did I just say? Uh, no, <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, my favourite moment of this is the trouble. Seb is, the trouble is, Kobe. I have uh, I have thoughts on that situation. See, Seb's getting to know his armies well, though, because. Because um, he pointed at the comment that said, Chris, I reckon battle nuns would suit you. And Zev goes, Sister Battle. <laughs> the Adeptus Serratus, little bunny. Um, but Froster, uh, Foster, not Froster, <laughs> Foster, thank you very much for becoming a VT member. Um, again, hopefully my little spiel um, of what we offer on the member side helped with that decision, which is very good. And they, his, his, thumb, his thumb is up, and now we're going to head back to the table where Michael can tell us all the things he did today. Well, on the board. Cool. Can you hear me? I hope so. Yeah, brilliant. Cool. <laughs> okay, so, okay, so um, we're just interrupting we the normal flow because Jordan has decided to overwatch my legionaries over on that objective, which mm -hmm. is very rude of him. I do have oath on me, so you may well kill the unit. Yep. So off you go. Last talons. Nope, but re-rolling. Oh. In the box, Jordan. Nope. Right. Last cannon. No. Nope. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> Twos. Yep. yep. <laughs> Six up. No. Nope. Okay. <laughs> so one dead. And then 18 little shots. No, don't hit me with your little shots. <laughs> okay, so we've got three hits so far. Okay. Is this Five, Five hits in hits. total. Okay, you could do it. Let's just get a couple of fours here. One. Or just the one. I'll take that. <laughs> he is fine. Cool. He's going to stand there like a beast. Nice. Um, so, rest of my movement, I need to think about terminators. I need to think about terminators. Um, Should we ooh. head back to the top down? Head to the top down for a bit while I make some decisions. Okay. Interesting there, good little overwatch there, picked off a singular model, didn't it, Chrissy? It did. Um, I was 100% paying attention to what was going on at all times. 
You're just very... I was replying to Kobe. He doesn't believe me. So recently we had a work conversation, me and Kobe, and um, our new work shirts, they're cut a bit thin, cut a bit tight, and they don't fit me. So I had to go two sizes up, and even that doesn't fit me in the armpit and shoulders. Are you still trying to do your goal of making your chest bigger than So this height? isn't common knowledge, Jake. However, <laughs> but, yes. Well, you spoke about it quite a lot. Only, <laughs> only within a private group setting. With, however, with about how, 10 people. However, you, you've us. now alluded to it. <laughs> so my 2024 ambition is to have the same chest circumference as Jake is in height. <laughs> so in December 2023, my chest circumference was about 120 and centimeters this is called chest gate <laughs> <laughs> it was about 120 centimeters jake is a whopping 155 160 centimeters which is until mad it. to think so i'm six foot seven <laughs> <laughs> the, the tallest and the most handsome man in 40k okay. um so big ash i mean the hugster he probably already has more his, his chest got... circumference than you do in height well yeah he's um yeah. but that's my 2024 ambition and my you know battle fit fit 40k not just turret. It's not getting fit there. You just want to have a really big chest. Getting, f- yeah, which is part of getting fit. Yeah, but, yeah, but, but having it is like it's taller than me. You've got to have, you've got to have smart goals. They've got, you know, they've got to be specific, okay. measurable, and you know right. all the rest of it. I and like it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> as Hobbsy's just said, private group chat setting equals anyone that would listen. <laughs> um, amazing, right? It looks like Jordan is also lining up a cheeky rapid ingress. Kobe. There. I had to take home 190, 115. It doesn't fit. I need to go bigger, which apparently I need to special order it in. Is this you getting trying to get clothes off Kobe? Oh, I, I think I don't even think Kobe would stock that size that I need. <laughs> How far are you? How off are you, Chuck Norris? Uh, I actually need to measure. Um, have we got a tape measure in the house? Like a not have a, we not, got a tape measure? Not, not a house? metallic one because obviously it would it wouldn't do a true representation. Well, be, do you know what? Normally, I, need, I need like a like one of the soft fabric ones. Normally that would be a ridiculous request. However, the, the leader of this channel is Stephen Box, so <laughs> it probably actually isn't that far fetched. We can have a look for you, um, but if not, you can go over to Chris's Instagram vtchris.40k. Um, and you can, and he will give everyone an update. Tonight. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll tomorrow. do it tomorrow. Tomorrow morning. After I get, after I get a chest pump. Okay, just to make sure. Um, oh, looks like a cheeky one. And you can put it in the Oh, Discord. I can sign up to Discord. You I'm can really, sign up to I'm Discord. I'm not very good at Discord, no. so... But we can thank we'll God I'm not a VT coach, because otherwise I'd be fired already. Yeah. And you'd also be a terrible bus. Right, now, it looks like the rapid ingress is done. Can we? Are we going back to the table? We are. So, tell us what you did. Okay, so important thing to note is at the start of the turn, I did decide actually to get rid of behind enemy lines. So I sent one command point. Um, to ditch behind enemy lines and draw a new card, I drew Defend Stronghold. That's good. Um, this is because I want to draw the No Man's Land objective holding cards before the objectives start disappearing. Uh, but yeah, a, a card I can definitely score. I can't get line on the Repulsor because these um, are treat, oh, we're treating these as ruins, so I can't actually see past there into this Repulsor um, or from anywhere else. So sadly, no bring it down this turn. Uh, you overwatched draw, didn't you? Yep, I overwatched. Um, basically, my thought process there was to hopefully get rid of these. I've got mm. rid of one, so it's fine. It's taking me off the objective. Um, it's not the end of the world, but it was to hopefully clear a way for a rapid ingress onto the mm-hmm. objective. Yeah. Um, but didn't work it's out. what it is. Yeah, yeah, so I did save the Rhino in case I wanted to move the unit back out yeah. to stop the rapid ingress. You've probably seen that I've screened nine inches from all the No Man's Land objectives yeah. because Jord could rapid ingress and then score primary points. Um, so we've just tried to avoid that here. You did, though, Rapid Ingress. I have. Basically, to saturate your targets with your um, Predator, you're either going to have to shoot the Calidus mm-hmm. or you're going to have to shoot these guys. Yep. Um, and, yeah, hopefully start bullying you off some objectives. Yeah, fair enough, mm. fair enough. Um, so, without any further ado, let's shoot some things. Let's do it. I've only got one thing to shoot. It's your Predator. It's the Predator. And it, it's just going to fire everything at the Calibus. Where's okay. the Predator, sorry? Right here, near the school. Okay. Here's the Predator. Okay. Uh, so... <laughs> uh, we'll do the auto cannon first. Um, I will Pact okay. um, for Sustained. Yep. Okay, do you got Stealth or anything? No, she doesn't have Stealth. Okay. So, six shots with the auto cannon. Uh, we get two Sustained because I'm Nurgle. Yep. 
Um, strength nine, so twos. Three, oh uh, yeah, twos, yeah, yeah. So that'll be six saves, please. Four pluses. It's damage three, so she that is, will do the trick. Yep, she is blown up. All right, uh, another quick turn for the, um, the Night Lords. So that's it. Uh, I will get no points, except hopefully defend Stronghold. Yeah, you've pretty much got that. I can't yeah. stop you. Are this you going to bin the card, Michael? I am going to get rid of Bring It Down. Yes. Okay. Yes. I Again, I want. I want to get to those cards that require No Man's Land ejectors first, and you could just hide the repulsor for another turn, and I won't be able to shoot it. Yep. So I'll go up to two CP at the end of my turn, three at the start of your turn. Yep. Cool. So okay. my turn, I got to two CP. Uh, yeah. Sorry, two seconds. I just need to update the command points. And primary wise. Uh, nothing. I couldn't get onto any of the um, no mans. And you're going up to two CP, did you say? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And Michael, you're going up to three. Three. CP. That's right. Uh, so I've got over overwhelming force and storm hostile objective. So I need to kill these Nurglins. That's well, I don't hold the objective because they're OC zero. That is correct. I don't hold any no man's land objectives. So I can't score storm. Is it not just no. a unit on an objective? It is. A storm. Oh, sorry, it's for storm. So overwhelming yeah, force. Sorry. Yes. If you kill these, you get points. Um, but storm, I do not have any valid um, sorry, storm targets. Prime, uh, primary wise. Zero this time. Cool, good stuff. Do you not score automatically not. for Storm if they hold no objectives? Is that not the one that of the is, last paragraphs? That is a caveat. I, I do but hold. hold his backfield. Yeah, your one opponent objective. did not control any objective markers at the start of your t turn, and you control one or more objective markers that you did not control at the start of your turn. Well, you see, Conrad Kurtz, the Primarch of the Night Lords, mm. had a bit of foresight. So I've applied a bit of my foresight. Yeah. That's mine. Um, to That's predict, mine. That's my gimmick. To predict an overwhelming force. And you've drawn it. Yeah. Um, and even better for me, Storm Hostile. So, sure. That's worked out. I like it. Yeah, you're still going to kill some stuff. You don't right? look like you like it. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> so you lied. I did lie. And Billy just needs to act it. <laughs> right, so... Yeah. Oath target. No. Oath. Ooh. Oath. Ooh. Oath is going to be... Is that Oath of an F? Oath with an F, yeah. That's a P <laughs> um, It'll be your Nurglings. Well, rude. They'll be my Oath target. What have they done to you? Uh, they existed. Okay. Cool. <laughs> so, movement phase. All right. Do you guys want to mute me and just go on to and do whatever you, you want to do? Wilfred and Dee Right. Chrissy. Jake, I'm sorry. No, you don't, what are you sorry about? You didn't do anything. Right. Anyway, so. We had a, no, I put bot and people get it. <laughs> okay. There go. See. I do. Should we address some of the chat? Because I feel like the chat's been going off, and uh, we've we've done well to. I've, I had to not keep points. focus. Um, <laughs> it's one of the questions is quite wild. Um, I will answer it because I think I know what it means. If I had to pick one VT member, as in not Trixie, Trixie, Bobsy. Uh, if Jake had to pick one VT member to ride into battle like a mount, who would it be and why? Um, it has, surely has to be Chris. Because, <laughs> you know, like you're obviously very slumming it and mm. very orange. And we are in a very passionate friendship. We are in a very passionate friendship. And I think it would be the right way to go. And in my opinion as well... Ride or die together, bro. People ride don't understand the friendship... You just need to check yourself. <laughs> Before we wreck you. <laughs> Before Chris and Ash. Uh, um, in regards to Mandy, mentioned on the Discord, there's apparently many layers of chat, and one of them is the 40k chat is Discord, where I can post workouts or just selfies. Just what? I could just feed my ego, potentially, of, you know, of what? If, if I had abs, maybe. Oh, I don't know. You do I, have abs, Chrissy. I, they're just hiding. Yeah, under, sorry, under, um, underneath. LPP was also flexing and then... Night going, oh, she, which is like she, she needs to be careful. She might bust out that dress. <laughs> um, right. And also, I cannot condone the use of trend, although I'd love to. Um, it's in the chat. Uh, due to work, I can't. And Kobe, can you just order these shirts for me then, please? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just, sadly, we, we don't have the bedsheet company able to be able to do shirts for you. Um, Mandy D, however, is coming with another $10 super chat. As much as I mess with Jordan, at least his Primark went down with a fight. Sebi, I was reading. My... I went down fighting, so respect there. Kurz just gave up and quit like a baby. So I also agree, Conrad Kurz has a very sad death. And which, what were you looking at, Sebi? Mandy D, that'll be part of the uh, VT OnlyFans, don't worry. Um, which one? This one? 
He just, he, you're just interested in shirt sizes. You had, me and you had a conversation, um, was uh, it two so, weeks ago? don't worry. When I take you home tonight, we can talk about shirt sizes <laughs> all the way. You can wear Chrissy's shirts. Um, this one's even a bit small for me, Seb, so might fit you. <laughs> but we could, like, you spoke to me about haircuts. So we've had haircuts, shirt, shirt sizes. Are you getting a whole new wardrobe, Sebby? You getting a whole new look? No. He said no. Seb. Oh. You asked me about like how often I get my hair cut. No, just curious. Well, it's interesting because tomorrow for me is tournament prep day. Which is? Which is. Oh, haircut. Sunbed. No, haircut ha- first haircut. because then you get rid of your tan lines oh. in the sunbeds across the road. Uh. And then you go to the gym, do chest day, take measurements, find out where we are in terms of circumference to height. Ask me for height. my height. <laughs> Growing any taller, buddy? <laughs> Creatine helps you get yeah. taller, apparently. Yeah, anyway, we digress. The The chat is ripe tonight um, with just so many people chatting. So thank you so much for that. We have 320 viewers. Um, have we got a link to the Discord? Jord? Yeah. Jord, we're going to 1CP interrupt what you're doing. Um, can you just... Is there a link to the Discord, Mandy has asked? Have, have we guys got... Have we got a link to the Discord? Yeah, um, I'm not sure if it's in this description. It might be on the members' videos description. Well, it is on the members' videos okay. descriptions. So, yeah. So, thanks for that, George. So, um, we'll meet you again. Um, and if you are a member, you can either go on the members' videos and have a look in the description there, or it will be the link... Or if it isn't in the link... If it isn't in the description of this video... Um, so yes, talks about oh crabs cat. No, we're not talking about crabs cat. Um, there was a whole there was a whole dialogue at the weekend regarding a gargantuan squiggoth and cheaper ways of getting gargantuan squiggoths. Because a fun fact for everybody here, because Jake's fun fact of the day is a gargantuan squiggoth weighs more than crabs' real life cat. And that's only because he put his cat in plaster cast. <laughs> no, 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 he didn't. No, his cat's like the, the, a gargantuan squigger weighs like three kilos. It's sort of just it, pure resin. It, it's it, it, it was interesting watching people walk around stroking said gargantuan like. Do you mean me? Oh, you I weren't was... the only one. <laughs> you did it as well. A minute. Um, so, is there a gaming group? A VT Van Dyke's gaming group on the Discord. Well, the beauty of the Discord, uh, good old Sam, is that um, you can you could just ask. You could just ask if people play video games. There's lots of people that play video games. I play video games. Sevi plays video games. Michael plays video games. Don't know about don't know about Jord if he plays the old video game. I just play FIFA to be honest. And Jord plays video games. Chrissy, do you play video games? I do not anymore. Oh. Um so <laughs> I I get a bit obsessive compulsive. Um so when I took up forty K during COVID, I found myself still very angry at the Xbox, uh, quite often. I thought that's the X. Um, <laughs> because... no, 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 that still happens on a weekly slash daily occurrence. Same. Um, <laughs> we digress. Um but basically essentially I would never come off the Xbox happy. I'd always be angry about a situation one way or another. And it was all encompassing when I put my headset on. And because as per my army to painted ratio, etc., I get a bit carried away sometimes with these things. And I get a bit stuck in the moment. Well, I was stuck in the moment there while I was reading the chat because Alan Sutherland has just says he's just signed up to the Vanguard or to the Academy. So we have to write that down, Chrissy. Prompt. Um, so Alan, thank you so much for that. And you've been entered into um, potentially winning a combat patrol. Uh, hopefully, and I'll just finish off his comment with saying, hopefully learn to play at least one of the three armies I have. Well, let us know what armies they are. And we're going to head back to the table as Jord is going to tell us what he did today to be clear in the game, not in the day. <laughs> right. I've had to be a bit aggressive. Okay. Um, someone yeah, has right. to come out and play the game. At some it's point. only Michael. You don't have to be too uh, aggressive. I know. Yeah, sorry. You, you didn't see on, on camera. but um, <laughs> So the Death Company have moved out to the mid board. Um, they're going to hopefully charge Lamb Raider. Mm-hmm. I've actually moved my Assault Intercessors out to try and claim this objective. The Repulsors moved up here and dropped these Intercessors out. Dante staying put for now. Uh, there's no point in sacrificing him and chucking him out because there's no target that's really worthy of worthy Dante, of Dante right now. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but Astaraf has actually deep striked into the building where the my... The school. The school, sorry, yeah. So in my school, my Astaraf's dropped down. Um, he's just teaching a little lesson to the deaf company in here. And... As basically clearing the building as Lamartis run out. Right, yeah. Yeah, cool. So that's my turn. But you've also done a rapid ingress. I have. We both love rapid ingress. Yeah. Um, I've done it. I'd, if I'd done it on the other side of the board, I'd have got shot. 
which I didn't fancy. Mm. Uh, so I've landed down here, and also that objective is going to disappear. So I want to be fighting for an objective that's going to be there at least for turn four. Mm. Uh, yeah. So I've rapid ingressed here to put more assets on this side sure. because I want to avenge my best buddies. You know, these are the the children. Yeah, uh, from the school. Yeah, these nerglings. Yeah. So uh, yeah, hopefully you taught them a lesson because I'm about to teach. You're them about a to lesson. teach them. A lesson. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, anyway, cool. <laughs> shooting phase. I've actually got quite a bit. So all the big guns. <laughs> that was very yeah. <laughs> shooting phase. Shooting phase. Quite a bit. Um, I'm actually going to shoot all the big cannons into that predator. The predator. Into the predator. Okay. So the two last talent shots into. I'm there. going to spend one CP so you can't. Okay, fair enough. It's no cool. Cool. Thanks. Just wasted your CP. Right. I'm actually going to shoot into the land raider now. Um, so <laughs> basically, <laughs> I'm going to shoot all the big cannons and I'll shoot the missile, the hunter killer, once per game. Okay. Into there. No, Very I'm good. Actually, going to shoot a hunter killer. Yeah, I've got an indirect one. It's pretty cool actually. It is pretty cool. Um, then all the little shots going into this one guy. He's going to tank it. He probably is, to be honest. Right, last talons into your land raider. Hit once. Okay. Fives to wound. Cool. Last cannon. He hits. Doesn't wound, but twin linked. Okay. Hunter killer. He hits. He doesn't wound. You're literally It's, it's just too intimidating. <laughs> right, cool. So, right, I've got Def Company going into it. Um, it's all okay, the little it's shots. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> Sorry, I was just crying. <laughs> um, 18 shots into one this guy. Here in case second. Mm. Okay. Come on, buddy. He's going to survive. Um, he might survive. Yeah, five saves, please. Is it dead? <laughs> is it dead? No, no, no. is it dead? It's, dead. it's a gun. Sorry, I thought you were Devo. No, no, no it's, um, <laughs> it's a repulsive defensive arrow. Oh, right. Yeah, it's not, it's not that good. Um, but there's a Gatling cannon on top of it. He has a wound left. Oh! There's a, Gatling, there's a Gatling cannon on top of the model, though. Yeah, it just counts as his defensive arrow. Oh, right. I didn't yeah. know if it did or not. Right. That's so late. Intercessors are shooting their bolt pistols at you. Let's go. They are heavy bolt pistols, so you are getting some minus one into you. Okay, I've hit up with all of them. Oh, okay. Two, well, okay. okay. <laughs> Two wounds. Okay. Two four up saves. And Two you're going to make them both. I am going to make them both. I did uh, not make no. either of them. He's dead. Dead. <laughs> Cool. Um, that's that done. How many Inferno pistols can hit your Lam Raider? I don't know. You tell me. Um, I think it's just... While you're measuring, Jord, so you can decide how many Inferno pistols this you want to shoot yes. the Lam Raider with. Um, I'm going to read Him? some super chats. So, uh, five euros from Alex. Just finished five, my first ever mini night armature your channel helped me so much depending uh, deciding what if and how to play so thanks for that so thank you very much for the kind super chat and we're so glad that we able we were able to give you some positive enforcement in the hobby and then manly d another ten dollars night lords are usually cowards when they don't have the advantage jordan so you need to be the one to advance yeah that's true yeah so thank you so much for your generosity um, but another way you can be generous is, again, 320 viewers, 133 likes. That is just <laughs> over 33% of you have liked Triggering the, the rage, man. So do us a favour, give us a like. Otherwise, I will, I don't know, I'll kick Crab's cat or something. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. The only way you can get anything you ever want in this world is through violence, sadly. <laughs> um, don't like the guy. But he's got, he's got a point. A point. We, <laughs> we also don't preach that on the academy. Um, right. Seven Inferno pistols going into a Lam Raider. Right. Hitting on threes. Reroll misses because they're death company. They're so angry that they reroll their shots with their pistols. <laughs> yep. Five to wound you. Cool. Um, yeah. Great. Um, I'll shoot my, my bolt pistols into the Nurglins. Okay. Uh, yeah, cool. They're minus one to hit as well, aren't they? No, not from range. No, only okay. melee. And then toughness? Uh, three. Okay, two <laughs> wounds. I take a wound. Cool. Plasma pistol. Misses. Oh, over target there. Hits. Oh. Doesn't wound. Cool. I have not seen the documentary about cats. Charges. I've... Is that the Netflix one, actually, Chuck right. Dory? I may have actually seen it, but I don't know. R right, Def Company are going into Lam Raider. Let's do it. 
Dog, dogs are also better. I'm just saying. I love animals, but yeah. just I don't <laughs> like cats. <laughs> yeah, that's a point. Actually, we'll start a poll. Uh, George, you won the po- uh, George, you won the poll. By the way, I won the poll. Yeah, you won the poll. But oh, if I go this poll, way, need to win. <laughs> they're gonna knock me incoherency, aren't they? No. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy because it's a replication of the UKTC terrain. I'm happy for you to be in the container. Oh, so we can run oh, through so the container. You can run through the container. That's any sort yeah. of Q&A, not okay, a... Okay, thank you. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to get half your guys in because they're strung out trying to maintain coherency. So, yeah. um, in the interests of how the board, how the board to should look, um, yes, we'll, we'll go with that house rule, so to speak. Uh, is Lamarty supposed to be here? Or Yes. Yeah, Lamar is in front of him. In front of him, okay. So Lamar oh, I dropped him. Oh, no. It's all right. Lamar is made out of some tough stuff. He's, yeah. a, he's a tough cookie. Okay. Um, then the assault intercessors into the uh, Nugglings. Mm-hmm. A Whoa. 10. Where would so you I, like so to I go have with seen a 10? A documentary about I would like to jump over the top. That's not really about it isn't. It's very weird. Have you ever watched the documentary? I, I have, and it's just ironic episode. because Brush Lucker's Club has told me yeah. that if I continue to sacrifice kittens uh, until they reach 2,000 followers, balls. that they will give me some dice. <laughs> oh, wow. Bribery is fine. Just two. Sean and or Matt is just going to send me a dog to my little collection. I mean, I have I have got the ten, and they roll hot, they and hot. it's very satisfying when you see the tongue. Right. Um, Combat the phase, guys. Right, We're combat. fighting. George. People, we fighting. So, Death Company... Into the Lamb Raider. Sure. I'm going to spend one CP mm-hmm. to give them Lance and Lethal. Cool. They've already got Lethal, but Lance to give oh, me... Oh, Lance for one CP. Oh, wait, it cost me two CP. <laughs> cool. Who do you think you are, kid? Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Ooh. Would you this like building. me to pile you in? Yes, please, mate. While I get all my attacks. All oh, there you go. Will 40 be able to attack? Uh, I believe so. You won't get them if you allow Michael to move them. <laughs> ah, see, there's the dilemma. There's actually only five, mate. I don't there's know where the other five, five went. Yeah, yeah, yes. He must have died earlier in the turn. Sounds about right for Death Company. Right. Five. It's, it's dogs for me. Don't seven. It, I know it's dogs eight. for you. Yeah. So I've got another eight attacks after it this. Was okay. for James. And then Lamartis. Nice. So these though. are power fists hitting at strength 10. Yep. AP2, two, two damage with plus one to wound. Plus one to wound. So fours to wound. Fours to wound. We're rolling all your hits. Rerolling all hits because they're deaf company. Cool. Well, six is a lethal. Six is a lethal. So do you just pick it all up? Oh, no. Hold on to those. There's, okay, cool. That was a hit, sorry. I just knocked it. Mm. Oh, pick Cheers. It. You would go for the fish. Would that was the one that I just knocked. Fish. Oh. Personally. It would be interesting to see. Okay, good. Got two more. That's all right. Okay, that's a few hits. Uh, did you want to roll the other? Is it eight more? Oh yeah, the eight more. Yeah, we'll just just get them all out of the way. So these are four attacks each. There's yeah. forty attacks. <laughs> Do you get it? <laughs> yeah. Cool. Obviously, bringing up a bit of an insult right. there, which I can't say on stream, so I have to explain to Sebi because Here you go. Thank you, mate. Right. All right, load you up. Wounding on fours. Yep. Okay. These are all damaged too. Really? Yeah. I will also say I do prefer dogs. I have a 11-year-old miniature Jack Russell. He hates me. He, well, he hates everyone, in fact, except me and my mum. So these measly death company have forced me to roll 23 saves at AP2. <laughs> Four up. Four up. That Two does damage not look good. <laughs> uh, so eight need to fail before yep, I die. Dead. I am very dead. Yep. However, I am going to take some of you with me. Actually, you? I've got a lot of my stuff within six. I'm not going to take any of you with me. Uh, and then I will roll for the six people inside, and one of them takes them all. Cool. Alrighty. So what's in there, Michael? Uh, so that's the Chosen. So they got out turn one, and then they just got back in uh, turn two. So that's the Chosen and the Chaos Lord. Um, I will actually get out over here. Uh, yeah, cool. Well, I'll do that. So once dogs have won this poll... Dogs have won this poll. Shall we do a next poll of... Would you eat a cat or not? No. <laughs> Would you eat a giant squid? <laughs> Considering it's made out of resin. <laughs> not a real one. Um, I'll get their attacks ready. If the Night Lords say yes, <laughs> we would. <laughs> I don't want to eat any cats, please. If that's okay with you. And Sebi, of course. No, Seb said I have to eat one. Um, what, what if you went on a cultural visit to another country? 
and it was part of the local Delicacy. cuisine. Yeah. Right. Well, I probably still would. Guys, <laughs> I've got all my chainsaw attacks going into you, Nerglins. Okay. Minus so, one to hit. Minus one to hit, so I'm hitting on fours. Yes. But you are my over-target. I am indeed. And guess what, mate? I don't care. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I did knock that too. And just confirm for me, George, what strength are these now under the new uh, uh, these, Suns? These are strength six oh. chainswords. Oh. Have they all got chainswords? One Stat stop out okay. This is 20 attacks. Right. From four guys. Nice. Just so you know. Um, so I am wounding you on twos. You are strength six. That is amazing. Okay, cool. Well, I'm just going to roll loads of sixes. And I got a power fist after, if that counts. Well, I did not roll loads of sixes. Uh, and that is the squad dead. Cool. If you needed that power No, the children. Didn't. What would the grandfather say? I will pile into your... Oh, you want to get bonked by the tank? I, did... I wouldn't put it like that, Mike, but... I'd... Have you not seen these spikes on it? This, this has been a wild sentence for Michael, hasn't <laughs> it? <laughs> Bonk the tank. Bonk the tank. <laughs> Bonk the tank. Bonk Careful tank. of the children. Um, okay. Any combat elsewhere? Would, did you want to pile into the Lord and Absolutely Chosen? Absolutely not. No? Don't want to give you okay. the free. All right, fair enough. Um, cool. Well, I'll roll this in between, like when we're off camera. Yeah, yeah. We'll sure. Roll it quickly. Sure. Um, do you want to summarize your turn? Yeah. I'll so roll it now. Actually, you carry on. I won't get storm hostile, so oh. I'm going to get rid of it for a CP. Good stuff, George. Good um, so it put me up to three in Mike's turn, but I will get overwhelmed and forced for two points. So sorry. So you're going to go up to three CP going into Michael's turn. Yep. And Michael, how many CP are you going to be on? Uh, up to two. Um, before someone picks up on it, I did do the Battleshock test for doing the pack last turn. I've just done sustained and, and passed another Battleshock test. And there's two wounds for Jord. Good stuff. And then, Jord, how many points do you get? Uh, just the two for overwhelming. Or is it three for overwhelming? It is it's three, three for overwhelming. per unit three for overwhelming. for overwhelming. So that's going to put you on one two. Um, it's really good I'm keeping track of this on my phone tonight, isn't it? Yeah, it's really good that I've been keeping up the points, um, which I have been. I get defend. Good job. Oh, no. uh, yeah, good job. Right. Thanks, thanks. So you got defend for another three. That's right. And then... No primary. No primary? No primary. There's not a good primary game around here. It's not a good primary game, this one. I don't know if I'm a fan of this. Uh, we are actually playing this mission on the weekend. Um, so that's going to be really interesting. Right, all updated. Michael, what cards did you draw? Area Denial. Good, that's probably going to be a doodle. <laughs> overwhelming Force. And the reason he held them so close to his face because he couldn't read them. <laughs> um, so, Area Denial, Overwhelming Force for me. Um, I will crack on with my turn. Fantastic. Um, and I think it's about time we hear from some more students of ours. Well, Michael, you can be mystic for this game because I think I was thinking the same thing. So, let's have a, let's have a check in with the students about the Vanguard Tactics Academy. What would I say to someone who's on the fence, uh, whether they want to sign up or not? I would say go for it. You know, it's a great community, um, you know, great team spirit, loads of knowledge to access. Uh, and I would say if you're sitting on the fence, have a conversation with Mike, with Steve, with one of the guys, ask those questions, make sure it, it's something that's going to work for you. But I would say give it a go because it was absolutely worth it. And I was I was glad that, that I came down on the, the side of the fence and, and actually join the academy. I would say anybody that's also in that same time where you don't have a lot of time and you really want to enjoy the game, I think the academy is exactly for you. I think for me, I think it's a no-brainer in terms of the way I've progressed and the speed that I've progressed in gaming uh, has been fantastic. I've gone from a complete beginner to, to, to do my first RTT within six months and it's been fantastic. You're going to find yourself with this group of people that are going to really kind of expand your worldview and it could actually really just help you build a lot of friendships and that also is a massive benefit of the Academy. And we are back, so... What a time to be alive. What a time to be alive. So again, pretty eventful turn there, I'd like to say. Um, it's quite scary, actually, how many attacks those Assault Intercessor Jump Packs get. The plus two strength from Lance on the old chargey charge from the Blood Angels, you know, it's quite big, actually. Taking yeah. that chainsaw to strength six. Yeah. Okay, okay against a land raider, it's you're the, still wounded on six. It's but, the Lance. But you're, That's the yeah, big thing. Like, yeah. You're bringing them down to fives. That's... Pretty damn good. Yeah, I think that, so, that's... It was so thing. good that I've just been on the Outpost website, <laughs> who, again, is one of our sponsors, but tonight we're only hearing from my students. 
I spent seventy five pounds on Blood Angel models. Wow, and I'm really characters glad you're, specifically. I'm really glad you've like grabbed my skull. <laughs> like why you said that. And tried so to crush me. when you can't when you can't win with world eaters, just go with their uh, imperial brothers, I suppose. Who are? I literally just said it, Jake. I purchased Blood Angels because I can't win with world eaters. <laughs> world eaters again. I know you're distracted by uh, Tinder on your phone right now, no. but. Um, I'm ready to see what's going on in the happenings of... Don't judge me, Billy. <laughs> you tut in the corner. <laughs> the giggly ghost goes the to the giggly... judgmental ghost. Yeah, judgment taken on you. We have gone off topic once again tonight. Um, we knew this was going to break down into chaos, having me and you on deck. However, Jord has actually done some good work cheering up some of them night lords. He's got Mike boxed in at school and in the crack house in the bottom left there's not there's not far he can move right now he's getting yeah. his vehicle's tight it's not looking good for my it's not looking just, good it's just, it's it's just not, not looking, looking good. good the main thing though is i do think if i am you know an intellectual being as i potentially am um i do think though jord is going to lose that big you know death company which is not going to be ideal let's be honest i wonder if he'll pull the same face as to when you picked up the majority of his models in one turn of shooting. The, turn of, the look of shock, but also confusion. And how has this happened? Um, I know that look all too well. It's actually probably the look he's doing right. Um, Kobe, now. you are right. They oh, are stupid. Is. But I'll do flesh terrors. And I will, by the end of the year, hope to be the number one flesh terrors player in the UK. Yeah, well, there's only one other one, isn't there, Ash? Oh, yeah. 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 So, you know, like, that, that's the important And I think bit. he's already given up on them. No, he's going. Yeah, he's, he's doing his custodes now. Yeah. They're looking um, pretty ma- sweet. Ma- maybe I can give him my custodes that I was doing the other day. My two play champions, Trajan and a set of Terminators. Well, you can always <laughs> ask him. I know, I know he's um, in the market. If, uh, if anyone wants any custodes, drop me a message on Instagram. <laughs> Stop hustling. <laughs> Built, not primed. Um, as it should be. Well, that's as far as you ever get, isn't it? Oh, well, yeah, you know. I, I normally run out of steam. I'm still waiting for Billy to uh, actually paint me an army. She keeps <laughs> offering, but Steve and Siege seem to have her very busy. Is that so? <laughs> We did agree on Thousand Sons, but they've been rehomed already as well. They have been rehomed, haven't they? It it never ceases to amaze me. Um, Do Lamenters, do you know what Lamenters are? They're like yellow um, blood angels with like. If if I was painting anything outside of Chapter Colours, it's going to be an orange based army. Yeah. Well, yeah, that that would be true. Um, And guys, I'm just going to remind you as well. While we have you, obviously, we've been speaking a lot about the Vanguard Tactics Academy um, this evening. And the main reason is because uh, the 4th of March, so next week, when it all kicks off. So if you do want to be in the chance to one night only, we are doing a very special giveaway that if you sign up to the Vanguard Tactics Academy with the link in the description and you tell us by saying, I just signed up to the Vanguard Tactics Academy or something along those lines, you will be entered in the chance to win a combat patrol of your choice. So make sure if you do do that. Currently we have one person signed up, so they are going to win it unless someone else wants to... And also you do actually have to sign up. You can't just say, I've signed up. Yeah, because we will be checking as well. So that is um, another thing I'm going to say. Um, And in answer to the question, no, you cannot have Sabre or Geth. Sabre or Geth. (laughs) Sabre or Death. (laughs) With with Dante or anything like that. Uh, Blood Angel characters and Flesh Terror characters cannot go together. As George and uh, we were all discussing earlier, um, George would have done that because he seems pretty baller. Little Gabriel Death, like <laughs> whatever you said his name was, Gabriel Seb, Gabriel Death, my man. Um, so yeah, Ooh, my leg fell asleep, so I'm just gonna there we go. Um, um, <laughs> so, so what just happened there was the Demon Prince landed nearby, and he has to do a battle shot test. Is that his rule? Um, I'm I'm assuming that in this attachment or this particular character, is Michael was forcing a battle shot. I think. It is quite an interesting one because this is going to be very much the case of, I think, the Night Lords are going to kill quite a bit, but a lot of their assets will be out in the open. So because of this, Dante and his big unit in that little wall bit on the right-hand side um, could potentially do a counter charge, um, and that's going to be quite devastating. Uh, Princess Nat has said, where does the terrain come from? Well, that is frontline gaming Another sponsor of ours, if you want to check this out, this is the Sisters of Battle um, Imperial Sanctuary. 
So thank you very much, Sebi. It comes so, pre-painted. It is pre-painted. And it is lovely. And it is lovely, and it is great. Um, it is based in America, but if you go into the description, um, and you can find the link to that, and it is a great set, uh, fantastic for all sorts of events and competitive play, or just casual games. Um, Michael, you yes. look like you're sort of in a long fort for this long war you're going through. Yeah, it's a very long war. Um, what, what Are you done? Are you, I am. Are you moved? Yes, I've moved. Um, George check in for, I'll let him do his rapid ingress. Um, there was debate on Overwatch, but George has three CP, uh, which means a potential arm of contempt and an interrupt or fight on death, which are pretty critical this turn. Um, but I'm looking to kill a fair few units. The assault intercessors annoyingly are wholly within three or within three of the transport, so they could embark if I charge them, mm -hmm. uh, which is frustrating, but such is life. Uh, yeah. So I've fallen back with the Predator. I've spent a command point in order to be able to fall back and shoot. However, I'm looking to get the command point straight back in a moment with these Terminators. Okay, so the Terminators. They are gonna fire. Oh, sorry, the rest of the movement. So the, the Demon Prince flew over the Death Company and forced battle test with Jordan easily passed. The Possessed have come out. The Rhino's here to tag, potentially tank shock, I guess the Death Company, and the Chosen of Advance, they can advance and charge. So they've got the option to go into the Death Company or the Repulsor, depending on where things go. So to kick off the shooting phase, I will begin... Oh, did you want to Rapid Ingress? No. No, no. OK. So the Terminators will shoot. I will pact four sustained hits on sixes, and I am going to fire... Um, uh, sorry, do you mind if I change something very slightly? Go for it. It's just going to be this guy, so he's able to see the death company. Say sure. no. You'll get, you'll get loads of cover. <laughs> now, big dog. It's just in case I do really well with What's this. What's the unit. difference between having normal cover and loads of cover? Well, loads of cover means that it doesn't matter where I go. Okay. I've definitely got cover. Okay, right, sure. Yes, yeah. uh, I cover that on the academy. <laughs> <laughs> right, so this squad is going to shoot everything at the red. So, instances with jump packs. The blood angel. Um, they are technically. The blood angel ones, not yeah. the uh, flesh terrors. Yeah. And what we're going to do is not do that. We're going to shoot the Flesh Terrors. I'm going to How shoot the flesh dare you? Yep. I saw go the Flesh Terrors. It. I'm going to shoot them. I'm going to go for Sustained as my Pact. Yep. To save time, I'm doing it before I roll. In case I forget, I passed it. This means I would get a CP afterwards on a 2+. plus. In fact, I think I have to do another test to get the CP, which I passed as well. Okay. So I will go up to 2 CP. I'm not using any on this unit. So and the order is irrelevant. While you get the dice and collect that, Mandy D is coming with a yet another $10 super chat. And it's given us some fun facts about the Flesh Terrors, considering Michael was shooting them off, thought it would be very appropriate to do it now. So Flesh Terrors fight alone, as many allies have unfortunately found out. They like to kill them as much as their enemies. Kind of thing, kind of thing that Chaos would do with four dots. So I feel like if I'm going to do this, I'm doing Flesh Terrors since they do call me Chris the Betrayer. <laughs> yes, they do call you Chris the Betrayer. Um, luckily, no ex-partners have ever called you that. <laughs> That's the best <laughs> about that. I have my dice. <laughs> I have He's my ready. Dice. I'm ready. Is ready. Oh, I'm ready. He's so the, the sorcerer it has to pick a target that I get extra AP against. That target is actually going to be the red uh, ones, but I am going to shoot the flesh terrors. Um, I will kick off with the combi weapons. So there's five combi weapons in the unit. Uh, these are hitting on fours. Because I packed it... Uh, I can reroll all of my hits because I'm a Terminator. Nice. You are a Terminator. Uh, so that was a six. Uh, and then that's sustained, and all of my fives are lethals, so you don't get my cheeky dev wounds, sadly. Uh, there's, so there's two dev wounds and four saves, please. Oh, sorry. There cool. we go. Passed all them, but two dev wounds on, on the flesh terrors. This is the flesh terrors we're shooting at, yeah. Uh, then we have the infernal gaze. So D6 shots, three shots, uh, we can reroll everything. Okay, so we get crits on fives, which means they're lethal and sustained. And then rolling to wound, we've got two more wounds. So this is AP2. Okay. And D3 damage. Okay, so five ups. Very nice. So the only damage is one. one. <laughs> this is going great. <laughs> we're um, all having fun here. We're all <laughs> having fun here. We are having fun. <laughs> we are having fun. Um, okay. 
So I've got a Reaper Chain Cannon, Reaper Auto Cannon, four attacks, hitting on threes. I can reroll hits and I will, because it's crits on fives. So three lethal and three sustained. It's strength seven and dev wounds. So that's two dev wounds after we've done some saves. That's four at minus one, one damage. Okay, two okay. go through. So two go through and a dev wound. Two, so two or died. slain. And one's on a wound, right? One is on a wound. And that concludes the Terminators. I won't lie, expecting a little bit more, but such is life. Okay, the Predator. I don't actually know what to shoot now. <laughs> I was expected to kill the unit, but I don't think I can see you them can't anymore. See, yeah, because of um, the... Okay. Uh, I'll just fire the entire Predator at this unit. Cool. Makes this easy, doesn't it? So I will pact again. I'm going to roll before I roll for the um, uh, shooting. So that does pass on a six. I'll do the auto cannon first. Uh, no rerolls available. I do hit on threes. And then strength nine, so twos. Uh, I will check whether it's twin linked. I don't think it is. It's not. So you got those. They're now minus three. An extra AP because I'm shooting infantry. Yeah. And extra AP from the sidekick power. So three die. Yep. And then my mighty heavy bolters. Is that bulbous or not painted? <gasps> they are, they've got black on them. <laughs> and silver's on a gun, not red. <laughs> uh, three sustained. And then strength five, so threes. This is all AP three again. And two damage each. All right, I'll pass you those. Three packing. All right, good job. Mr. Predator. Into the middle then, I will fire the Demon Prince. He's got three shots. I will not pact uh, with him because I don't want to take any more wounds. And oh, no, I will pact because his enhancement requires him to pact. Oh my God, this is complicated. Uh, so three shots, twos, and then threes. Beautiful. Uh, three wounds, AP one. Can I take it on anyone's in cover? Uh, probably. Cool, one. it's two damage down to one for you. What should I take? Take a wound, and then, because I've packed it, could you please do me a battle shock test? I'm fine. Okay, and then I will do my own battle shock test. I'm okay as well. Excellent, everybody's okay. Uh, let's move on. <laughs> so, so just to reiterate, Frankie, the predator, uh, Frankie has said that the Predator fell back. How is it shooting? Michael's better CP to do it. Yes. So, um, and then I didn't change it because he got one back from his uh, wizard. Speaking of wizards, it's time for the Master of Possession. Also going to shoot at the Death Company. He has two shots. I'm going to do a mortal wound to my unit in order to get plus one to hit and plus one to my wound roll. I've got six up feeling of pain now. Cool. Well, that was good. Uh, time to shoot. So right of possession, I'm going to go for the hazardous profile. Okay. All right, now this does have precision. So oh. there's the potential to shoot um, Lamartis with this. So it's hitting on threes and I am packing. I don't get anything there. Uh, and then strength six with plus one to wound. That is a wound for you. I am very tempted to put this on Lamartis. I will put it on Lamartis. What's the damage? It's three. So it's AP three, three damage. Okay, so four up. Two damage now. Yes. You cool. immediately turn into a spawn. Huh? No, you don't. Okay. I made that. <laughs> Hold on. up a second. <laughs> Michael rules. <laughs> Chris rules. <laughs> that's what he used to do. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah sure, yeah. sure. Uh, so that's him done. <laughs> Let's take a look at another unit. The Rhino may as well shoot the same unit. Chris Anderson. So I will fire the combi weapon. Two hits. Uh, no wounds, and then the Havoc Launcher, um, I may as well packed. I think I packed it with the um, yeah, you have, yeah. Possessed, so I'll just roll that quickly. They do pass. So packed on the Rhino, I'll roll the leadership now. He passes. Havoc Launcher, three shots, is blast, so plus two. I don't think I've plus two, any yeah. you. Threes to hit. Um, I'm Slanesh, so no fives. One save. Loves it. Cool, well this has been um, a worthwhile venture. Uh, is there another weapon on this guy? I think there is another weapon on this guy, but I can't remember what it is. So we'll move on. Cool. 
We'll move on. Are these guys shooting? They are going to shoot, yeah. So the Chosen, yep. because of the line of sight, have only got the um, Death Company to shoot at. So I am going to fire all their bolt guns, uh, but most importantly, their combi weapons. Yep. So two combi weapons. Do I pact for sixes? I am going to pact for sustained. Uh, two hits. No Michael was happening. always packing. Hit One dev wound packed. on the... <laughs> Them guys, kill that guy. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, then we've got two bolt guns. Uh, I do reroll ones for being undivided. Two hits. Uh, one save, please. Loves it. Cool. And then a plasma pistol for good measure. Hits. Wounds. Uh, that, was the, twos, that was the Lord. That was the Lord. Yeah. Um, right. AP2, isn't it? Yeah. AP2, yeah, yeah. You're fine. I didn't overcharge. Uh, and packed. then the packed. They're okay as well. Oh my god, so much rolling. <laughs> The legionaries, I will fire my melter gun at the. Mm. 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 So I could shoot the tank. You could. But You've got options. But you're. But if I shoot the unit, I get a bonus against it. Ooh. So tempting. It is tempting. It's another option. Yeah. Just don't shoot. I like Jordan's way of thinking. Mm. You're right. Um, <laughs> When in doubt, just don't do anything and charge. Yeah, exactly. When in doubt, just don't yeah, do anything. Just charge. <laughs> That's it. When in doubt, charge. Um, I'm going to spend one command point to grenade the repulsor. Oh, you know. I am indeed. Take this repulsor. Take five more wounds. Oh, mm. cheeky. Okay. Well, you put me down to 11 wounds, mate. Yeah, take that. Uh, and then I will fire the melt gun at the guys just in front of me and spread the bolt pistols on them as well. So the melt gun. Uh, that... Hits and kills one, AP4, yeah, loads of damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think it probably yeah. does it. Uh, and then for five pistols, uh, three hits there. I didn't pack. Nothing. All right. I think I have finished shooting. Have you? That was a task, wasn't it? It was, mate. Oh, charge phase. Coward. All right, anyway, <laughs> carry on. Uh, the Terminators will attempt to charge on these Flesh Terrors. On an eight, they will certainly get in. So I'm just well, going to move well, well. one of them for now. How the tables okay. turn. Turn oh. tables. <laughs> Never turned. <laughs> Works 60% of the time. I'm all the time. Do you know what I've just learned? Though, the, the grenade strap. Rolling. So for some reason in my head, I've convinced myself that you do it after. Like you have to... The sequencing, regardless, anyway. So I've been doing it wrong, as in I've been doing it wrong where I've not been using it, thinking yeah. I've lost yeah, yeah. the opportunity for uh, the sequence, but it's I just used within your shooting phase. Do you want yeah. to intervene? And as long as you I, I, well, I could. I'm I literally five, could have won games if I had just read the mm -hmm. strategy correctly. That's like the story of your life. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I 60 I percent over rolls to 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 my own advantage. Three power fist, one chain fist. I'm really good at playing down my own rolls. Or understanding sometimes. But the wound on twos. That is the issue with Chrissy. But right. This is because I jump around armies too. What much. are you guys doing? I'll do some um, of the charges. Yeah, do the other charges and then so I'll. So we're debating a heroic intervention from Dante's unit because they could get into the Terminators. Oh, I see you, big dog. So I it's a potential option. So I'm going to resolve some of the charges while Jordan thinks about it. The Rhino will charge the Death Company. So it's going to go seven inches. Do I get the those two. plus one to charge on the heroic intervention from Dante? Uh, well, it's a charge roll. So if you add one to charge rolls, you would get it, yes. Yeah, so I do get that. Then. Mm -hmm. The demon prince will charge uh, and go nine inches to base contact there. Uh, and then... Grenade strat's my favourite core rule, but... The possessed will charge as well. <laughs> Ten... Seems I have to reach base contact. What grenade is that? Um, like so. Because grenades go pow. Yeah, all of them, including flashbangs. <laughs> grenades aren't well, nice, Seb. Well, that's what a photon grenade is, just like a flashbang. And I just love this idea. That, like, they're like, oh no! They start shooting their own What I now need to double check is I can't remember if Cassacrum have, right. have grenades. They I'm sure they do. They which means melter bomb, grenade. Shoot, mm. charge, okay. kill them on purpose, 2 CP, bring them back <laughs> to life. 
So I'm going to declare a charge with the legionaries into your assault intercessors. Would you like to jump in your tank? Yeah. Coward. Baffle is that the ra is that the repulsor rule? Yeah. That's pretty sick, actually. It finally came up. I will now charge a tank instead. No, you won't. And get a six. Oh. Yeah, you're outside of six. I'm outside of six. Are you mad, bro? Oh, it's that guy there, isn't it? Bro. <laughs> Are you Manny, I'm, it'll I'm, be well, great I'm with you seven. <laughs> yeah, 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 and I've rolled a six, so I'm, yeah. I'm okay. Yeah. Manny Chima were also there on the weekend. Bro. <laughs> there we go. Bro, six. bro, bro. In we go. In we bro. In we bro. Bro. <laughs> bro. Bro. <laughs> uh, and the repulse is on the objective, is that right? Yep. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. The chosen will also charge the repulsor. Uh, on a seven. I think that's in. Is that in? You let me know. Bro. Let me bro. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So I go seven inches. It's going to be a, it's going to be a long turn, this one. Into base. And over here. And while Michael's moving that, we have a 199 super chat from VT Kobe. Dante best charge and pick up four Terminators on his own. We can do more than that. I reckon Dante can do more than four Terminators. Uh, I so finished my charges. Would you like to intervene? The, the big debate I've got here is I've got three CP. Two could be used to interrupt, which means my death company are hitting back either the Demon Prince or the Possessed. But I'm not getting any charge bonuses. When you on threes. You got Fight and Death? I do have Fight and Death. Fight and Death is probably more of an option than Interrupt. Yeah. It's four ups. On the, the Death Company. Cheaper. And then Dante's unit just charges into the Terminators next turn anyway. Yeah. And kills them. Yeah, so yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to... Cool. I reckon to me. Alrighty. Um, well, I will... So are you going to spend any CP? In this turn, yeah. Not, not okay. an Overwatch. So I'm though. about to fight here. Yep. Um, I do do Mortal Wounds in the charge phase, though. Okay. Do with do. the Demon Prince. Do do. So I've got to sort that out before um, we do any stratagems or anything. You will need a Battle Shock on your Terminators as well. That's rude. At minus one. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Silly Dante. Trying to battle shot. scream at you behind the wall. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, wonder what's going on behind that. <laughs> okay, so the Flying Demon Prince rolls a number of dice equal to its wounds, mm -hmm. current wounds, which is 10, and each four up is a mortal. Wow. Okay. All right. That's well now, it is a maximum of six, but I have rolled six. So you've got six mortal wounds to resolve <laughs> on your death company. It's a really good rule, actually. Okay, so be three dead. Two, two and a half. Oh. Two and a half. Was one not on a wound, or did that one die? That guy died. Died. Oh. Lamartis has has two remaining. That's okay. actually quite a useful little. Uh, will that? Yeah, I like the flying demon prince. I think he's he's, <coughs> he's got an interesting take. Okay, hey. time to fight. We'll spend two for fight on death. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay, so you're going to spend two for fight on death. So that puts you down to one CP. Let's just have a quick CP check, Michael. Are you still on yeah, two after? One. Got you got one. One because I did a grenade. Cheeky. Um, yeah. I will fight with the prince first. Mm -hmm. The fresh prince. The fresh prince. Oh, uh, he's going to pile in here. Prince. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, and what I'll do with him is I'll spend my command point. Uh, oh, that's a difficult one. I want epic challenge, but. If I spend my CP now, I won't have two CP for an interrupt in the next turn. So, tactics, you can learn that on the academy. Uh, CP management, it's one of our lessons. I'm going to keep the CP. Cool. Um, right. And I'm just going to hit you. I'm going to say uh, five pounds super chat from Andy Downs. Um, ha have, I've had to put the kids to bed and George looks broken. Has Mike been bad at touching him? Now, I don't think he has, but I think more of George is in... A state of trance, a state of tranquility, mm. where his brain is attempting to think. And for George... That's tough. That's, that's a tough thing. It's a difficult task. There's actually a filter on, because the room is actually currently full of smoke. Yeah. With how much his, um, <coughs> his uh, you know, thinking. So. The pistons and everything in my head. He's working pistons. overtime. Yeah. Well, this guy's going to... I was going to make a terrible uh, joke there. I'm not going to make it. Okay, yeah. Uh, so, six Stick attacks. Where you're good at, I will pact with the Demon Prince. Cool. Uh, so he gets exploding fives, so sustain on fives. Okay, so he misses one, but he gets three back in. Sure. Uh, and then he is strength eight. So two. So two to wound. Uh, uh, those out for you. I've still got one CP left. Oh, AP. Um, AP two. AP two. So mm -hmm. five ups. 
Good roll. Uh, well, I bet you wish you uh, had interrupt now, don't you? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, that funny. just happened. That's not good. Uh, however, that's the holy wrath of sanguineous I, on you there, mate. I did pack, so you'll have to do me a battle shock test. You'll have to do me a battle shock no, test. I probably would after that roll. Mm. Okay, right. Now take um, a pack test. Yep. Yeah, mm. oh, okay, you pack it fast. Well, that was um, yeah. That was good. Well done, mate. Thanks, fair, mate. Fair play. Cheers, dude. Fair play. Appreciate you. Um, right. <laughs> I guess we'll do the possessed. You guess, huh? I guess I'll do the possessed. He's beginning to a, believe. <laughs> um, so, do I have precision on my master possession? Because I would love I for him so. to no. him to do some tricks. Oh, I thought he, he does not. He doesn't. Um, he is, however, going to take a mortal wound on the squad, which I don't ignore this time in order to get plus one to hit and wound with his staff. Oh. So, two wounds. so he just slaps someone in the face? He just slaps someone in the face, basically. <laughs> and then get plus one to hit and then get because of yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. Exactly that. George's um, starting to believe. He's Neo. <laughs> so we'll start with him. Four attacks. Uh, hit on threes. Uh, two sustained. And then wounding on twos, because he got plus one to wound. Okay, fine. So that is three. It's only AP one. Damage? Damage D3 each, so I'll have to roll these separately. So the first one is two damage. Down to one. Yep. Next one is two damage. Down to one. So it's Kills one guy. dead. And then the last one is three damage. Down to two. Kills two guys. Kills two. Can I make any filner paints? He did Good, go you just, you just <laughs> made your five of the same. crying. Right. They get fight and death though, so I'll put an F now. Yes. Sounds good. Sounds good. And then I've got ten possessed. I don't think I've lost any. 10 possessed uh, rolling in, so that is 40 attacks right back at you. You have 40 attacks, I will have 40 attacks. I don't anymore. You had 40 attacks, I now have 40 attacks. Cool. Uh, this is a lot of dice. I might need you to load me up. Well, if that was Chris, there. Chris, he said the can, 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 go, can, go, can, go. Can, I, can I come and load him up, please? <laughs> then Chris, then then I'm, I'm being serious. I'll do it. I'll do it for the wound roll. We're, we're on the hit. Get rid of some of these. I'm going to go load Michael up. Ones and twos. Uh, and then we get. It's my time to shine, folks. It's Chris's time. Steve didn't let me load him up last week, so. No, he was very adamant mm. about that. We get 13 exploding hits. So we'll put those 13 straight back in. <laughs> Poised, ready, like a spring. Chris, whoa, 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 load whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. George, get out of the way! <laughs> he knows what's good for him. He wants to help. Could you... Oh, no, my hands are so small, oh, Chris. It's okay. Oh, I keep I'm dropping them. You, oh, thank you. It's so feminine. Oh, thank you. What a good guy, Chris Thanks, is. Chris. Come on. Oh, you're such a nice guy. Oh, my, you have big arms. <laughs> yeah, thanks for noticing. Oh, <laughs> lovely hair as well. Oh, getting cut tomorrow. You have quite I was a getting big cut. chest oh, as well. Oh, thank you. Chris. Thank you. Why did you never compliment me like that? But I, Chris, I do. Have, Chris, you have quite right. a big chest. He'll beat me up well. if I don't. It's okay, Chris. <laughs> Look how big his chest is. <laughs> like it's like, it's like a big pillow. I am, I, I am wearing uh, child gap clothing tonight. <laughs> <laughs> right, this is all. Well, I've his choice, some would say. This or is what? all damage two down to one. AP. AP one. I Strength. have managed to roll horrendously. Strength five. Do you know why? Because I put the fear of Sanguinius into you. Yeah, you certainly did with that saving throw. Uh, right, so some of these are dev. Okay. So cute. five five dev, and then you just got that many at minus one. That's cute. Yeah, it is indeed. Sorry, I didn't roll that. I did now. Okay, cool. So I'll get rid of those, and then if you want to do all of that, it's all damage one. one Thankfully, it's a six up. Two, three, four and a half. I'm alive! Was one not on a half? No. Because okay. you killed them both. Yeah. So there's. I didn't one, make the film. One okay. left. And uh, what's his face? So I'll do their fight backs. Yes. Please do. How many attacks do they get, George? Three each. Does, would one require a loading? <laughs> oh, please. Can I get loaded up? Hang on. Oh, no. No. My turn. <laughs> 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 oh, 
One, two, three, If you want to build a community four, just like this, five, where you go to tournaments together two, and you load each other four, up, five, then six, consider seven. joining the VT Academy. Wear one of these shirts, go up to someone else wearing a shirt and ask them to load you up. I also have small hands, so I wasn't very good at doing this. Mm. Thanks, man. Jake, I love you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right. Uh, hit on threes. Yep. Sorry, I'll re-roll that. Re-roll misses. Sixes are lethal. Yes, indeed. And then I am wounding you on three. Yeah, because your top one's five. Six. Top six. six. Cool. So that is a whole bunch. Twelve wounds so far. Twelve wounds. On your so involves. Two damage a piece. Okay. So two damage a piece. That is nine. I'm going to get another nine dice. Oh my god, there's so many ones and twos over here. Another nine dice. Now I'm going to roll these two at a time. Uh, so the that guy's dead. Down to the one. next guy. Dead. Is dead. Then the next guy is dead. And the next guy. Surprise, surprise, he's dead. <laughs> And the next guy is also dead, so that is the wounded one and four more. So five possessed dead so far? Uh, yes. Cool. I've got one more death company. Mm -hmm. That's too lethal. <laughs> Three saves from the death company guy. Is it? Uh, oh, this is fighting back? Fighting back, yeah. Okay, cool. So I failed all of those. Uh, and then I've got four at a time. Dead, wounded. Cool. Then Lamartes. Yeah. Lamartes. Cool. So he's got five attacks. Dead. Wounded. Uh, do I want to fish? Let's fish. fish. But this time, do it with the Italian hand when you say Lamartes. Oh, say sorry. Italian. Wounding <laughs> on fours. <laughs> yep. No. So three. No. Three. I make those. Uh, uh, you're able to. Able to, mate. Yeah. So four. Should have done them separately. It doesn't matter. I failed them all. So dead and two wounds on the next guy. Oh, houses. Uh, down to one. Down to one. Sorry. Yeah. And then we'll just pile into this. So how many here. possessed did you kill there? Uh, um, he killed seven possessed. Wow. Jeez. Good trade. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. Terrible. Um, Stock market. <laughs> absolutely tacky. shocking. Quickly, invest in Bitcoin. You're attacked. Absolutely here. shocking. It's the only um, way. <laughs> yeah, I think I need a moment. Yeah. I need a moment. Um, on a level of fresh water to JC Burn, how is the salt right now? No, no, it's Dead Sea to JC Burn. <laughs> it's pretty bad. I'm pretty jade. <laughs> pretty jade. <laughs> I'm pretty jaded. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Mm. To mm. survive the entire Demon Prince. Mm. From perspective, I put a whole half a thing of salt in that water <laughs> and I didn't even notice. <laughs> like... Okay, well, um, we move on because we have to. These Terminators will fight your. Two I'm, dudes. I'm happy to take them off. Are you sure? I mean, with that saving throw. Yeah, could... but Mike, that's that's two guys without minus one damage. There you go. Thank you. It's uh, it's only caught to nine, so feel free to drag it out. Um, <laughs> this squad over here. Um, I will put the chosen in first. Okay, um, what's the AP? Two. AP two in general, yes. And how many attacks? Four each? Uh, four each, more on the captain. And you're all wounding on sixes? Uh, we are wounding, uh, not all of us, so it'll be fives for the strength eight stuff. So there's the captain <laughs> and Dropping. one power fist. Okay. And then it'll be sixes for the rest. Cool. Um, but I can go for lethals. You could go and for I lethals. And I can reroll all my wounds. Oh, you can? Yes. For a CP though, right? For free, because it's battle tactics. Are you going to? Um, well, that depends what you're going to do, mate. Um, I mean, I am going to do it. I assume you're going to Calidus it. No, I can't. No? That, that was, was that oh, a bit of salt did. thrown at me? Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I did um, kill something. I, I'm going to armor contempt. Okay. Cool, fair enough. So you both out a CP? Yeah. Uh, no, I've got one, because that was free. That was free. Oh, okay. So we'll go in with, I think, lethals, and we'll go with the hammer, and I'll use the Chaos Lords once per game rule, where he gets 
plus one strength, attacks, AP, and damage. Okay. He's got dev wounds. Would that have changed your yeah, decision? I didn't know he had that, no. Would that, um, that have changed your decision? So he will get... Um, let me check that for you. He's going to get six attacks with exploding sixes. Right. Um, and I'm going, am I going for lethal? I'll probably yeah, go for lethal. Lethal, yeah. Lethal makes the most sense. So um, lethal on sixes. AP three, damage three. Oh, hitting on threes, re-rolling wounds. Then, no, I wouldn't. No, no if it's okay. AP3, I didn't realise. I thought they were all like AP1. Mm, well, he, well, it's because of his ability. But yeah. Right, sure. Yeah, so have your command point back. Cool. Uh, with that information, uh, and I will hit you with him first. So, pacting for lethals. Yep. Okay. Uh, he misses with the twos because it's a hammer. Yep. And hammers are terrible this edition. They are, yeah. Uh, and then wounding on fives. Uh, fives. He's only strength nine. But I can re-roll all of my wounds. So two saves, please. AP three. Six ups. One. He makes one. Three, three damage. So it puts it down to Won't eight. Lie, was expecting far more than that. Um, and then the rest of the unit. Are they I've, piling in? Uh, yes, if you don't mind. Yeah. Should get them all in. Yeah, they'll all be able yeah, to get yeah. in. Assumptions, Michael. You know what they say about yeah, them that way. Yeah, basic. Yes. Yeah. You, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. the, the front. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So Those the. Power fist first. Get that out of the way. No, that's the Lord. Oh my God. The Lord. That's the, <laughs> the Lord. Lord. <laughs> the Lord. Power fist. He does have four attacks with it. So, four attacks. Uh, I reroll ones because I'm undivided. Okay. <laughs> um, fives. Fives with a reroll. Hey, I wounded you. Save you two. It's two damage. Down to six. Cool. And then we've got uh, a twin linked weapon, which doesn't matter because everything's twin linked at this stage. Because <laughs> I have reroll wounds. So one, two, three dudes, double claw dude. And yep. that's the squad. So we're looking for sixes. Okay, that's pretty good, actually. Uh, and we're re-rolling the one. And then we are looking for sixes, strength five. We can re-roll all of it. So you have 10 saves at AP2 to make for me. So 10 five ups. 10 five up saves. Uh, I think I've just about done it. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Does he blow up? Go on. No. no. And then I've got, so. Do I roll all of them at the same time? Uh, so you roll per unit. Per unit. So right, you actually so roll per unit, yeah. The four intercessors, fine. Mm -hmm. And then the seven in the blade guard squad. Yep. Kill a blade guard. I'll take it. Right, I'll let you disembark there, and then I will decide what I'm doing with my intercessors. Not my intercessors, my legionaries. Bear in mind, if you disembark within three of the legionaries, they can pile in and hit you. But then I get to hit you. You would hit me after I've hit you. Yep. Yes. And I've yep. got four up in bowl. Sure. If you want to hit my blade guard, mate. I think at this stage, hitting you and dying in the subsequent turn makes very little difference, so I'm going to go for it. Boom. Boom, all right. Boom. Uh, where are the intercessors? At the back, yeah? Yep. So you got out. I'm going to pile in three inches, and I'm going to go for you. And you're on the objective. There we go. We are Mark of Slanesh. But I have fights first, right? So this is a, a, a great moment to discuss the academy. Okay. So if you've got fight first, you will get fights first. But if you aren't in combat at the start of the phase, then you're treated as being in a remaining combat. So you don't get fight first if you're not in combat at the start of the fight phase. So in this case, you don't get fight first. Sure. I'll reroll ones on involves. That would make a lot of sense. Yep. The, okay. The AR came to it and decided... <laughs> so we'll kick off with the Master of Execution. Thankfully, you rolled three ones when you uh, disembarked, so you're mm. below starting strength, and I reroll all my hits. Yeah. Which is lovely. I'm going to pack. I'll do the leadership test for the Chosen, because I didn't do it. They take D3 mortals. They take two mortals. If you could mark one of them with one. That's f Any? great. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter. All right, so I've got five attacks with the Master of Executions. Um, we are rerolling hits. We are rerolling wounds, because you're on an objective. So here we go. 
twos, I am exploding on fives, I will fish. Okay, that's fine, so we get three additional hits. This is strength seven. And I can reroll all of my wounds. I do have dev. Um, I'm, I'm doing it. Do it. I'm yeah, going do for dev. It. We're going for dev. Be a man. Uh, so we get two dev. Yep. Um, and we get four, four saves. saves. How many wounds does the Judici have? Four. Does he have a feel no pain? No. Okay, so after I've allocated all of these to your blade guard, I'll okay. allocate the two dev to your Judicia. Okay. And that will kill him. Sure. So four in one saves for me, please. Okay. So that's two damage each. There's a lot of discussion in chat, Mike, when there's a prominent moment. Can you just re-explain why the Judas didn't get a fight first? One more time, just slowly. Yeah, absolutely. So if you have a look at the core rules for the fight phase, you'll see that um, fight first only applies if the unit is in engagement range at the start of the fight phase. So if, you, if your fight first unit is piled into later in the fight phase, they fight in the remaining combat step. Hope that makes sense. It's because basically you have two stages to the fight phase, the fight first step and the remaining combat. And if there's a pile in, you've usually gone past the fight's first stage. Mm. And did you have two masters of execution? Uh, one died because I had to pull them out of coherency. That was just the one guy. Ah. Thank you, Michael. No worries. Kind of no worries. So we cover that in the charge phase advanced tactics of ways to get around fight first. And where can we find that? Uh, on the academy. In the link in the description. Uh, so I get a command point because I've just killed a character with a master of executions. Yay me. Um, I, did I get one this turn? You I think I did. So I can't, awesome. I can't actually get that. I can't get that, sadly. So over to the legionaries. And we have... Two heavy melee weapons, so six attacks from the heavy melee weapons, exploding fives. And I can reroll everything, so I will. Oh my god. Now we roll in. That many hits. Strength, eight. So twos, rerolling. There you go, my friend. Damage? Damage to each. Okay. Pull out the reroll ones. Okay. Wow. Two. Two and a half. Two and a half. Uh, and then the legionaries, which there are three with just regular chain swords. <laughs> Hitting on threes with four re-rolls, and I may as well try and get some extra attacks. Uh, which doesn't necessarily work out. I get three back in. And then we strength four with four re-rolls to wound. There we go, that's all AP1 and one damage each. All right. Okay, sure. Oh, you do get to reroll that one. No, I don't. No? No, because there's no AP, so it's an armor save, it's not an involve. It's AP1. Oh, so you, you may as well take the invul. Sure, cool. He loves it. All right. Champion. So, my attack back. Fights back, yep, yeah, so the blade guard back. Okay. So I never understood why there's a sergeant of the blade guard veteran. Two. Two. Cool. AP2. Uh, AP2. You can still be you, a I'm more okay. senior veteran. Yep. Right. Fair enough. Absolutely, Jake. Sorry. Sure. I've made, I've made the decision. Okay. okay. So, <laughs> that concludes the turn. Um, I get overwhelming force for three because I killed the repulsor. Two. Unfortunately, didn't kill... Oh, I did kill the... Jump back into the so five says. for overwhelming force. Uh, area denial, I do not get because you are wholly within six off the center of the board. Um, does it have a second part to it? If you're wholly within three, I think. If I'm so, if I'm wholly within six, but you're not wholly, you're not within three, which I am, you are within definitely three. within three. Don't get area denial. I'm not going to discard it. No, I'm not going to discard it. Yeah, we'll leave it at that, because I won't get the CP for it, because I've already gained one from the, the Psyker. So that's my turn, just five points on the board. <coughs> and um, Yeah. So you bottom of three, Jord. Jord. Yep. How many points can you get? Um, I will get zero. Zero. Very good. And six cards, and everyone's command point. Can I have a command point check, please? Uh, two. Two for me as well. And you're waiting for two. Uh, I got engaged and deployed teleport. That is very engaging. 
You can do it. You can do it. Now, we will go to the top down and we will discuss all of the things that just happened in Mike's turn. And we're also going to, well, before we do that, Sebby has very kindly whispered in long my ear the luscious tones of, of we are going to have a word from our lovely students about the Vanguard Taxis Academy. And here we go. For me, the Vanguard Tax Academy has been a fantastic investment. I've had 16 weeks of community, support, lessons that I can re-watch, go over them again, and it's really helped me and my group of friends progress uh, miles more than I would have done on my own. I don't have a lot of time where I, I'm not able to listen to the lessons live, but I am able to access the academy and watch everything and submit my questions if I need a question answered. So um, I would say that's very valuable. Again, the community itself is worth the money and the academy and that is just a bigger bonus on top of that. I remember when I first started playing back many, many years ago, games taking five, six, seven hours because you're constantly having a reference back to a rule book. You're not sure if your army's rules, you're not sure if their army's rules, or how these things are going to work together. It really helps you compartmentalize the information in an easily digestible form so that when you're on the table rolling dice, uh, you don't take 15 minutes to look up what a ruin does or what it does. I've gone through the one experience of the 9th edition academy when 10th edition came around. I went right back in and, spoiler alert, I learned something new all over again. It was worth every single moment, every single penny, every single class. And we are back. So again, launching 4th of March. If you do want to join the Vanguard Taxes Academy, the link is in the description. And if you sign up to that link on this stream and you comment in this chat, I have signed up to the Vanguard Taxes Academy or something along those lines, you will be in the chance to win a Combat Patrol. Now, currently, we have one person entered into that such draw. So they're going to win a Combat Patrol unless someone wants to challenge them for the title. Well, I am the master of the pen and paper. You are the master of the pen um, and paper. You keep lifting it up. It definitely says VT underscore Chris. No, you there. haven't done it. <laughs> um, I can still do it by the end of tonight. Well, let's hope you do. Um, anyway. I did once. You did. Sign up to the academy back in back in days. How we actually met, wasn't it, Jake? Yeah, how you, we um, how this relationship, you know, you were blossomed. Very, you were very kind to me, and you said some nice lies. To I was not very nice to you on our first ever game, where I bullied you. Yeah, in a still, in a comical I, manner. And I still was super nice to you. <laughs> uh, whenever you tried to do something, and I just told you no, you can't, and you were like, "What do you mean?" And I was like, "Because I said so." And you just looked at me perplexed. Well, of, I've is, never met this man before, and he is telling me I cannot do my army rules. The problem is. is because you're bigger than me, I don't. I'm, I'm not one to argue. Um, so, Ever. well, you know, it's good. To um, should we talk about the turn and that big turn, especially that big fight on death? Yeah. So there's quite a lot that happened there. So let's just let's just break it down for you. So, bottom right, we'll go from bottom. Right. Oh, thank you, Sebby. Hey, well, he's not a bad lad, this Seb. You got him well trained. Um. So basically, so bottom right. Um. The two units of assault incessors died. That's probably the littlest thing that happened. Um, just because you had the, you know, um, Terminators come in, take back that objective. In the middle, we saw the Possessed, the Rhino, and the Demon Prince hit. And then Jord made the decision to fight on death, which I think is the right decision. Mm. Over the interrupt, definitely. At the time, because, you you know, you never know how dice are going to go. And on average, he should have lost a lot more. But Jord, like the absolute hero of the blood angels and Baal he is past every single save which would have meant that if he didn't fight on death he could have interrupted instead and killed all those possessed and not have to lose any models um it still worked out well but again i think jordan no matter what did the safer thing do you think there's enough time in the uktc season for me to get painted 2000 points of models and take the top blood angel spot away from jordan I don't remember that happened in the game. No, 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 it's just it's just a thought, bro. It's just you have you have just referred you to him as the hero of Bowl and you know and all these other magical titles. Well, I'm the hero of, of apparently the leagues of Votan, but I've taken them to like two UKTC events. Jordan's given me a thumbs up, and we will go back to Bowl's favoured son and see what he's doing <laughs> in this. Right, so I've lost a lot of assets now. Mm. Well, um, again. Yeah, the Master of Executions thing, I did not expect them to pop off that hard. Yeah, that, that took uh, me by surprise. That was savage. Um, so 
But Dante's here, and I know what Dante does, yeah. and he will single-handedly turn this this potentially bleak game around. But you've got Astrath hit me in the middle. This went really well for you. Um, yeah. yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll see how this goes. I mean, I'm hoping I can pop a Rhino here. Um, it's just a Rhino. Yeah, well, I need to pop it before I get into charges. Okay, right, because so you want to go into the Prince. I want to go into the Prince. Right, okay. Um, so what I'm looking at here But is... he hits like a wet fish. We just saw that. Uh, he definitely doesn't. <laughs> I, that, I spiked massively on that one. Um, but I have rap well, rap rapid ingressed. I've deep striked my last it's unit slow on the board. Ingress. Slow ingressed. Uh, so they are going to deploy teleports for me over there. Very nice. Um, yeah, so... You, oh, you got engaged as well, I think? Got engaged. The infiltrators have actually... Just chucking dice on the floor. Yep. Um, so the infiltrators have run out of their building, mm -hmm. out of their church. They finished praying. Yep. Now they're going to go and hopefully do something for me in this game. Um, I need as many marines as I possibly can right now. So yeah, we'll just go straight into shooting. All right. Um, so we'll start with we'll start with Dante. Okay. Let's see if I can go get on, sustained. Go on, son. No, oh, it happened. Do we, do, we even, do we even doubt it anymore? I am Dante. Right, cool. So oh, you're three. Bal's favoured son. Three, right, Bal's sustained. Favorite son. Oh. Just, just two. That's that's okay. Three's to wound though. Yeah. Okay. Oh, come <laughs> on, Dante. Just, just the one. one. Uh, four up in one. <laughs> okay. Oh. Well, it was just the fact I got it. I mean, I still managed to pop you're off still, his ability. Yeah. I was hoping to um, get home. <laughs> yeah. Game. Anyway. So George keeps deciding to roll his Dante shot. Right. So <laughs> I'm gonna spend one CP. The grenade your rhino yeah first. with um the death company very nice so six shots and everybody Three. Three. while you're doing your shooting we may have another sign up to the bank of Taxes academy in the form of the canadian nightmare five Three. um they are Seven. just checking their emails now to verify now what we will be saying is that um obviously we'll be doing the draw at random at the very end of the stream um and if you do win this lovely combat patrol um michael what will they need to do just really quickly just um so it. send an email to aaron at vanguard and uh, let us know that you were the winner of the night lords versus blood angels uh, stream game uh giveaway yeah. now i'm i'm gonna add to the giveaway i'm at it it's ad hoc i'm adding to the giveaway if you sign up before the end of the stream for the academy I will give you a one-to-one -one coaching call thrown into your academy package. Oh, amazing. Um, so that is up for the cards as well. Now, the two of you that have signed up, currently one of you is getting either a coaching call or the combat patrol. But if that floats your boat, then get on the academy and try and fight for some of those prizes. Amazing. Well, Michael, that is very generous. So not only will you win a combat patrol, you will win a one-on-one, -on -one, not fight, call with <laughs> Michael uh, to, to start... Your beautiful journey here at Vanguard Tactics, and we hope you enjoy the ride. So, so far we have two people signed up for that. So people, payday tomorrow, might as well invest in your hobby in the best way. Enlighten your hobby horizons and join the Vanguard Tactics Academy so Michael can keep the lights on. That was beautiful. Thank you. I'm a, I'm a Peter <laughs> Jury of Warhammer. Uh, anyway, right. Jordan, continue. Inferno pistols into your rhino. Let's do it. Right, these are all going to be getting the melter, so mm -hmm. we just need a few of these to pop off, and it's looking good so far. That is good. Let's just get that on the wounds, because I'm going to need fives to wound, because okay. it's toughness nine. And that's what we want. Uh, two, two have gone through, okay, so, so minimum, six. Minimum six damage, so you just need a three or a four on either of these dice. There it is. That's it, yeah. So the oh, rhino's you... dead, so that's five plus four, nine damage. Yep. My sad rhino explodes in your face. No, it doesn't. Oh. It does what? <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so. Hey, man, you, you're the one who wanted it. So uh, you killed the rhino. Don't remember asking for that one. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. You know what, George? You've got a fantastic point. You didn't ask for that. But, Michael, something I am going to ask you is yeah. this comment from Princess Nat. It is very, very tempting, but I've only played with my mates, so it still feels like a new player. Not sure if it's a good idea for a brand new player, question mark. Do you think it's a good idea for a brand new player, the Vanguard Tactics Academy? Mm, good question. So for a brand new player, I would recommend to start playing 40k course first. Um, but if you send us an email and let us know, then we can always roll that into the academy and you can watch that first. 
because um, what we tend to do is anybody that goes on the start playing course, we then upscale that to the academy because that's kind of the next step. But obviously, if you're interested in joining our courses, it makes sense for us to roll the start playing in now. Otherwise, you'd have to wait four months plus before the next academy rolls out. Um, so get in the space early, send us an email. We'll see if we can sort you out with start playing in addition to the course. Um, but yeah, it's definitely worth it. You know, there's loads of core concepts in there. We go through all of the core stratagems and the academy itself focuses on solidifying those foundations and then moving you up, scaling, up skilling you um, as the course goes on. So I would definitely recommend it um, and we can throw that start playing course in there as well. Amazing. So again, um, you know, a few people in the chat have said it's really good for new players. A few people have said about the start, start playing course. So again, make sure to shoot an email and who will they be emailing Michael? So email me, so that's mike at vanguardtactics.com. Amazing. So right. you can have a chat with Michael about that. Or if you do just want to take the feedback from the chat, sign on up and you will be in the opportunity to win a combat patrol and a one-to-one, -one, again, call, not fight with Michael. We can maybe arrange a fight if you really, really enjoyed the call. So, Billy is first in line, however. <laughs> like, so, don't worry, Michael, I don't know what you're nervous about. I'd happily fight everyone. <laughs> like, you know, for money, obviously. Uh, right, George, yeah. take it away now. Right, I've got Lamartis and one Inferno pistol. I'm going to try to shoot Lamartis first. Mm -hmm. I've got one wound left on exactly. her. Exactly, so may as well. I miss. But I can reroll hits because I am deaf company. And I've hit. I need that to wound now. Five or six to wound. He's done it. It's a wound. Three up. He's no. done it. I do have a six at full. Oh, no, no. Please don't do Come this, on, Come on, buddy. Roll it out of the tray deliberately. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. no. Okay, you do manage to kill the one wound possessed. <laughs> and oh, no. Grinning Duke, I will, I will match the bet. I will sign up right now if I can get a picture of Steve getting flexed on by the guy in the children's shirt. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you sign up to the Vanguard Tax Ta Academy right now, when the moment Steve is back, we will send you a photo of Chris Owen flexing on Stephen Box. Like the you know what? I'll, I'll go one better. I'll just bicep curl him. Okay. I'll just, I'll just curl Steve. Well, that is what you'll get. So, Grinning Duke. I better see that transaction go straight through because that will happen for you on top of being entered into these giveaways. <laughs> right, the next Inferno pistol. Mm -hmm. Missed. But I do reroll and I hit. Doesn't wound. Okay, cool. Good. Um, right. Charges. Yeah, any pistols with the assault intercessors? I do have a few. I have three normal bolt pistols into the Chosen. Okay. Nothing. Okay. But then Plasma. Overcharge, yeah? No. It wounds. Yeah. No. Uh, it cool. does wound. Just one. Um, so that'll kill the wounded guy. Yeah. Um, and I'll grab this guy here. Cool. Right, charges. Yes. So we'll do the death company first into the demon prince. Bring it. That's not a good start. Five? I think you're okay. I can re-roll charges if I need. Yeah, you look like we're within six, so I wouldn't take the risk of re-rolling. Yeah. So you're so definitely in there. Do I move in then? I... No, move myself. Well, that's I'm not joking. sportsmanly. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> oh, it was a joke? It was a joke. We do not teach you jokes on the Vanguard Tax Academy. We're all very bad at jokes. <laughs> right, Assault Intercessors. Seven. Okay. Let's go round. Round and round. Okay. If I can go... No, because of his sword. There we go. And then he's going to go like that. They're going to help their brother. Yes. Then Dante into the Terminators. Let's go, Dante. Boom. Easy. Light work. Light work for Dante. Right. You, my friend. Apparently not light work. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to think about where I want to hit you. Uh, I, yeah. I'll just move some of these for you. There you oh, go. Thanks, mate. Yeah, you're welcome. You I figured you were taking so long. Okay. That's another um, thing we teach you. There you go. Cool. Fully, fully surrounded on all sides. Where do I, oh, can I have a battle shock there, please? No. At uh, minus one. Please. I am indeed battle yeah. shocked. So I'll attack with the death company first. Very good, sir. I do still have two CP in the pockets. Exactly. So that saves me some dilemmas. Mm-hmm. Um, right, this is loads of attacks. Yeah. Strength 10. I believe I'm only toughness nine, um, but I will check that. I'm just debating my own armor of contempt. Ooh, cheeky. Um, T9, so you'd be wounding me on threes, Twos if you spent Lance, uh, or I could interrupt. I will go for my once per game dev wounds. 
Okay, okay well, that kind of makes that decision a bit easier for me. Um, 2 CP. I could interrupt with the Master of Executions, and he's been a beast. So actually, I think I will save the CP. Yeah? All right. Do you want to spend any CP? You could do Lance on the old Demon Prince when you're I do have a 5 up Fun of Pain and a 4 up Invan. Hmm. Let's just make sure you're dead. Yeah. Do okay, it. fair enough. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge, do it. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Oh, so, uh, are the sixes anything? Because it's uh, Astra. Lethal. Lethal. They are oh, lethal. of course, because you're with a strap. Yeah. And Very nice. You've got Dead Wounds with Astra. I have, mate. Good. Yeah, more lethals, please, because they don't do Dead Wounds. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm winning you on twos, but sixes are dead. Mm -hmm. uh, there's only one dev. Oh, and that on. is, that was I terrible. have just rolled seven ones there. That's and it shows terrible. your counting ability. It, it, yeah, it's also quite impressive. So that's 11. Another thing you can learn on the academy. It's how to count. Core concepts, arithmetic. Yeah, oh, sorry, one of those was a six for the dev. So okay, so um, I'll do that afterwards. So two go straight through. Four up in buns. Okay. See, I've rolled like you, Thanks, my mate. friend. No, thank well. you. I thought it would be Thanks. fair. I appreciate uh, and you. And I'm just going to double all of these up. Yep, because uh, it's all too damn. You don't think it's got serious because so. Michael's sleeves have been getting slowly <laughs> rolled up throughout the stream. Sixteen, I, I five up corner pains. I've got ten wounds. Mm. I listened to like a wrestling. Podcast I think and you one of, may have got him. And and in one of the you shows, got him. They talk cool. about yeah. By one. Wounds. Yeah, so, I still had Astaroth. Uh, and you still had Astaroth. Uh, I do have deadly demise. Ooh. For a meter. No. For a meter. Monsieur Le Demon Prince is dead. Cool. Oh. You want to attack it? <laughs> I will interrupt with the Master of Executions after yep. his incredible show last turn. I think you roll better when you're loaded up, Michael. I, you're not it's wrong. Just slipping across the <laughs> Actually, no, I rolled terribly with the Possessed, and that's when no. you loaded me up. No. Nope. Unbelievable. Um, okay, so I will put, because there's a Blade Guard as well, isn't there? Is How many wounds has he got there? Two. Two wounds left. And okay. he'll reroll ones on his invul. So I'll put two, the two heavy melee weapons into him. Mm -hmm. Everything else into the legionaries. Cool. So the master of executions. I think I forgot their about their pact last turn, so I rolled it now. They're fine, and I'll roll it again for this turn, so they're fine. Master of possession, master of executions, rather. So you are below starting strength, thanks to my melter gun earlier. Yep. Played that well, and uh, rewrite everything for fives. Oh. So three exploding hits, and then we're strength seven. With full rerolls, um, there's no need to fish here. Okay, so two dev, damage two, three, saves minus two, damage two each. Okay, squad's dead. Cool, cool. And then the heavy melee weapons, hitting on threes, reroll, oh my god, rerolling against um, you on an objective, that's four <laughs> exploding hits. Right, good job. Canadian Nightmare 5 has joined the Vanguard Tactics Academy. And it's also said, uh, <laughs> he'll to England for a fight. <laughs> so thank you very much. So you are entered AP into two, two the damage. draw yeah. as well. So there's now two people. Awesome. So All right. it's going to be 50-50 wins for the coin. Good stuff, guys. Look forward to seeing one of you on the other side of a Discord call. Two, three, no, no, no. Four. Canadian's coming to see you. Oh, is this the one-on-one -on -one fight? He is no, no, fight. You don't, well, you don't want this smoke, do you? <laughs> <laughs> right. All my Vanguard vets. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do this twice. So <laughs> yeah. I'm hitting on two. Six is elite. How many attacks is this? 50. AP2. And that's not including the two characters? No. Dante gets nine. AP4. You should just do Dante first. No, because up. he has to kill Load the character. Right. <laughs> How many lethals oh. have we got? Okay. And we hit on twos because Dante's in the squad. Yeah. Commander Dante. Very nice. So I have dropped seven. <laughs> so I'm happy to. Here's my kind of right. Let me just wound the guy the children. Yes. Yeah. Roll the wound there and <laughs> then I'll, I'll keep them Sorry. inside. Michael, if you could ride any member of VT into battle, who would it be? It's a question. Surely it's Chris Aaron. and the children. Okay, so you're right. Aaron, because right he's really tall. Well, you've chosen me. No, I, I said you. You've got that boxing many as your first so choice, haven't you? So, uh, so this is, what, the no, first half? a first famous half. book about it called The Box and His Boy. <laughs> so this is the first half of the saves, AP2. AP2. Okay, so four up in runs. Uh, we've done pretty well out of that. So one model dead and two wounds on another. Cool. Boom, dead, two wounds <laughs> on another one. And then we do this again. 
All right. <laughs> if you are going to the uh, Southampton Super GT this the South weekend, Coast. the South Coast GT, and if at any point you need loading up by a member of VT, please just shout, and one of us will be over. In a hurry. <laughs> Instantly, especially if you sign up to oh, we, we don't. We don't come along with the dice, though. You'll have to have your own dice for us to load you up with. <laughs> just me in like a Pokemon. Princess Nat, right, steady. That many saves. <laughs> Second round of saves. Four ups. Yeah, you definitely don't want My to God. smoke Mike from wow. Canadian Nightmare because he's doing quite well here. Mike. Nine years as a left of American football. So that's two, <laughs> three okay. terminators dead. Uh, yes, so that kills the wound because uh, he should be down to one. <laughs> he's down. He to... lost four last time. Yeah, and they're three each. Oh yeah. So yeah. So he's, we can get he's dead shirt, now for worry. two, and another one has a wound left. Who was yeah, the eighth okay. target, George, just to confirm? Um, I don't remember. Oh, it was... It wait, was them down there. It was the legionaries, was it? Yeah. Okay. Them over there. So it was these legionaries. That's right. Three lethal so far. Mm-hmm. Who is this? The Sang Priest. Sang Priest, all right. Um, so four wounds in total. Four wounds, another AP two lot. Yeah. I am rolling incredibly with these guys, so that does kill another Terminator. Cool. Now, big man himself. To turn around the sentry that Michael needed. Oh, oh come on, Dante. Dante. He doesn't want it. He's scared. Wow. Well, um, it's the birds. He's actually afraid of birds. Threes. <laughs> cool. Take four saves. Well, they do make a mess four of everything. <laughs> they do make one. a mess of everything. <laughs> so he does kill two he killed two Terminators. On his own. Dante has just killed the squad. Good work, sir. Come on, um, Dante. I have the sorcerer left. He will send his birds at you. Um... They don't actually do anything. Could you show us an impression of a bird? I've got a really good one of a pigeon. <laughs> I've got a good one of a pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> right, my force weapon. Hitting on threes. No pacts, because I didn't declare any. And then wounding on threes. Uh, that is three wounds, AP one. Damage. Uh, D3. So three damage. Cool, one's on a wound. Cool. Uh, I've got a wound marker for you here. Any Thank preference? You. I do not care. Would you like to close the circle? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Let's just <laughs> tighten the noose. Tighten the noose on him. Uh, cool. Careful, a Night Lord might enjoy that. Oh, he might do, actually, mm. yeah. Uh, my death company? Uh, uh, I will fight before them, is that right? Uh, oh, yeah, because yeah. you wouldn't have gone there, really. Oh, uh, no, I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'd, I'd forgotten that there were more fights. Um, so I will pact here. Uh, and I will do a mortal wound. To the to the Technically, better. Jake has never left the chapel. Uh, sad. There will always be a little bit of him in there. Speedy tortoise. I was there on Saturday with uh, some good, uh, some good friendos from a lovely little house party. Um, I spent almost. Yeah. When were you yeah. last at the chapel, Speedy tortoise? Who is this? <laughs> I guess. Uh, okay, so we're are you? packing a slanesh, so we get fives explode, and then we're wounding on threes. Once again, the possessed are a bit scared. That is Dev, yep. but only one wound. Uh, AP? Oh, AP one. Cool, so damage. Uh, two down to one each. Cool, one's on a wound. He's got a wound left. Um, and then the Master of Possession, four attacks. Oh dear. Uh, and then two to wound, because he's got plus one to wound. Oh dear. Minus uh, one at minus one. Saved it. All right, so your death company survived the hit, and I don't think I'm going to survive the hit back. Right, three. Reroll. Cool. One lethal so far. Okay. Threes to wound. There's two wounds, two involves. Two wounds. I'm going to quickly do the pact. Okay, it sure. could impact who takes sure. the saves. So the pact I pass. Um, two involves. Two involves, mate. Yeah. Okay. It's good, 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 good form. Uh, the first two. Excellent. And then the last possessed has a wound remaining. Right, Lamartis. Can Lamartis finish the unit? Uh, he's hit all the time. Okay. Go on, Lamar. Um, do I fish for lethals? Yeah, because he hits on twos. That's my fault for fishing. Um, then fours to wound. Cool. So three wounds. AP two. Yep. So the possessed takes it. Takes it. Takes dead. them both. Is dead. Um, and then it's four damage on the master of possession. Yep. Uh, he has a three up save. AP two, so five ups. Makes two. Hold on. No, no, two saves, mate. It's two saves. I'll roll again. Two saves. He makes one. Two, two damage. damage. He makes one. So he's got three remaining. And mm. it's almost a character versus character situation. Mm. All right. 
Good turn, Jordan. Good yeah. turn. Yeah, how what many we, points do you get? What are we Jordan? scoring? Uh, I get five on deploy. Yeah. And I will only get three on engage. So, eight. Very. Where's your point? I'm not being an idiot. Where's his point? has gone. There it is. Hi. <laughs> Yes, cool. you are being an idiot, oh, Jake. So, top of turn four, mm -hmm. you're both going to go to how many CP? Uh, one each. One each, very good. And one of the objectives is going. Goodbye. He's objective. on his way up. Uh, so, how many points on the primary, Michael? Are you um, I will get eight points on the primary for holding the middle. Very because good. Jordan's death company are battle shocked. And I'm not below half strength because I'm on my own as a character. Shooketh. And then, cards wise. Cards wise, I've still got area denial in the pocket. Um, so cleanse is the next one. This is where things start getting difficult because there's less objectives in No Man's Land. Interesting. Okay, uh, well, feel free to mute me and I will have a look at what we're gonna do this turn. Amazing, so um, before we, we're gonna have another word from the lovely Vanguard Tactics students telling you all about why you should sign up to the Academy. Um, but Grinning Duke has said, how many people have signed up so far? Now, I don't know if you mean total or if you mean today. If we, we just go on today, and today it's been two people uh, in the stream. So as I said, two people have been entered in the chance to win uh, the Combat Patrol on a one-to-one -one cage call with Michael. We're at like 85, I think we've got 15 spaces minus the key from the stream. Yeah. yeah. So, so we've got 13 spaces left on the Academy, Sebi's just told me, um, including what we already have or what has sold tonight. So, you know, and, and it all starts on the 4th of March. So, with that in mind, let me pass over to the Vanguard Tactics students to tell, for them to tell you what they learned most. So, for those that are, are waiting and to decide on, on joining the Academy, uh, you should have made that decision yesterday. There's no thought about it. I was that person contemplating it. You take that step, you take the plunge if you want to be a better competitive player. The Vanguard Tactics Academy is worth every penny. Again, it's about time versus money. Will I be signing up for the Vanguard Tactics Academy? Yes, I will. The biggest thing I've learned and, and came with from the Academy um, probably is the community. Great coaching, super friendly people um, that know how to teach. I would not be here without it. BT has been more than a games experience. It's been a life-changing experience. I will forever be thankful for BT. So we are back. So um, one of the questions um, kind of uh, Grinning Duke has said is uh, how many is in an academy class per se? Um, now, what I will say is that all of the lessons are actually pre-recorded um, on the internet. So because of that, it means that you can watch them at your leisure. Um, but we do offer live lessons throughout the week, which Michael will explain about after he's done his turn. Um, and they obviously have a host of things that you can get involved with, along with an active Discord community and a whole plethora of things that we offer for people that enjoy things like TTS or hobby sessions, all of that. So it's very good. Because it's easier to look at someone, Sebi, and you always and you have beautiful eyes. Um, so yeah, so take the compliment. Um, so yeah, it's very good. But turn, that turn was, again, quite a long but interesting one. Um, George sort of managing to um, hit back a bit there um so chrissy what do you what did you think Jakey of that term? i have been oh why is michael doing <laughs> peering into that school um so it was another big turn there's a, there's a lot of now that we've got into the money phase there seems to be a lot of models getting picked up and thrown about literally um and it's turned into a bloodbath we thought it was actually going to not go in mike's favor um, to begin with, and he certainly pulled it back. He, he's just hitting hard. Yeah, he's um, hitting hard. Um, it's quite an interesting one because at the moment, um, Michael, with that objective going, Michael's now been forced to sort of switch focus now to the middle. Um, I think that bottom corner, there's not much point of really, you know, trying to contest the bottom corner away from Jord. Yeah, and also the objectives are now getting picked up on a way and Mike's tried to secure that one that was staying. He knew that one top left was um, on its way out as well. Yeah. So 
at what point do you cut your resources and start trying to move away? I think was a is another decision to be made. Yeah. Of denying primary and trying to get that it's eight points, isn't it? If you're holding the Omega or it's, it's so it so it's eight points for each one this turn, and then on the final turn it's fifteen points. So mm. because because Michael's going um, went first. The biggest advantage for Jord here is going to be to be able to, you know, deny the primary going into Michael's turn five, and then Jord can then try and hold it at the end of his turn five. But they are done at the table, so let's head back to them real quick. So, Michael, before we sort of talk about what we did in the turn, would you like to tell some people in the chat, mainly uh, the Grinning Duke, what I was sort of mentioning about live lessons that we yes. offer on the Vanguard Tax Academy? Would you want to sort of go in a bit more detail with that before you sort of tell yeah. me about your turn? Yeah, sounds good. Uh, so the majority of the academy is recorded lessons. So you can watch these at your leisure. Um, you can watch these on your phone, on your laptop. Some of them you can even just listen to, the ones that don't have tabletop examples. Um, however, in addition to that, there is essentially a bonus, which is the community. And this is all run on Discord. And what we have are live lessons. So these are live. They're not recorded content. Um, and you can join uh, the other students to chat to a coach. You can ask them questions. Um, there's something called list analysis where you can submit lists and then a coach will pick three to discuss and review with you. Uh, there's also uh, enemy sighted where we talk about like a meta list, what it can do so that you're not caught unawares. Um, and all of these will happen over the course of a week. And if they don't suit you for your time um, or maybe time zone, then they are also recorded. Uh, so you have an opportunity to ask questions before the live lesson, and then you can watch back uh, as the coach goes through answers or perhaps even goes through your list. Uh, so that's the live lessons. Uh, in terms of classes, there's no fixed class size. If you're on the Discord, you can join the live at any particular moment um, and just take part in those lessons. But as I said, the main course is recorded content um, that is quite self-driven. And needless to say, you get more uh, the more you put in, the more you get out of the academy. That's amazing. Um, with just that, before again we go to the turn, uh, Will, with the academy, is there work to do in it and does it have deadlines or is it more videos to watch that can help to improve your gameplay and attitude to the game? You sort of mentioned about what the academy does, um, so we'll just more look at the sort of is there work to do in deadlines and such. Do you offer homework, Michael? There, there, is, there are homework tasks. Obviously, these are optional, but as I said, the more you put in, the more you get out. Yeah. Uh, now, these are not checked homework tasks. These are you are accountable for your own tasks. Um, we recommend a notebook of some kind, but we might ask you to pick three stratagems that you're going to spend your CP on for the entire game. And that's a good practice. You can write those down in your notebook. There's even places on the Discord to share those thoughts with the other members of the community, maybe even get some feedback if you play the same faction as them. Uh, so there are homework tasks, absolutely. Yeah. Is there a quiz? Is there a quiz? Um, we're working on uh, an exam. There used to be a ninth edition um, uh, academy exam, um, but there's no quiz yet. Well, yet always means there's opportunity, and the only way you're going to get that opportunity is if you sign up with the link in the description. Now, Michael, tell me what you did. In your okay, time. so the Predators come out to get line of sight on a fair few different options. I've advanced the Slanesh unit of Master of Executing Everybody and the Legionaries, they only rolled a two, but I've spent a command point for Advance and Charge because they're Slanesh. Jordan has, in response, overwatched. I'm going to now, yeah. So we'll resolve that in a second. Yep. The Master of Possessions remained where they are and the Chosen rolled a six on their advance, and they can always advance and shoot and charge. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the cultist shied a little bit away from the, the very scary red jump pack men. Yeah. Cool. That sums it up. Shoot me. Right, my turn. so sixes, re-rolling hits. Okay, but that's not good so far. Cool, so just the one. Okay, two twos. Twos. Cool. Okay, so AP four. four. Have I got cover? You could take it on one of the guys in uh, Holy Within. Okay, one is dead. One one dead chainsaw dude. There we go. Cool. There's some less attacks going on me. Yes. Right. Time to shoot things. Um, where do we begin? I don't think I can dent this. Oh, there's a guy in there. Do you want to... I would like to fall back. Desperate escape? He's okay. Cool. Of course he is. He's got birds. He... Do I have any means to... I've got cleanse, but I don't have really any way of doing it. Um, okay, so that's that's fine. That's fine. He's going to stand over here and look pretty. Cool. Nice. All right. 
Um, I will begin a cleanse actually with the master of possession because he has a pistol. Okay, so you won't. You'll forfeit your attacks basically. I'll forfeit you. his shooting. He still gets to fight in combat. Does he? Because he's already in combat, and you have okay. to fight. Um, but it doesn't forfeit anything. He just can't shoot or make any charge moves. Okay. Because sure. he's doing a ho uh, cleanse. So to begin the shooting, where do we start? I think the chosen will go first into the infiltrators. Mm -hmm. I will pact for sustained. Um, yes. So I'll do the pact first. We're okay. Now we've got two combi, one combi weapon left. Yep. No hits. Uh, but I reroll ones because I'm undivided. Never mind. And then some bolt guns. Cool. So this was worth um, worth shooting at you. But do you know what is worth something? <laughs> <laughs> is that Jacob Durant has signed up to the Vanguard Tactics Academy and has said, I'm excited to start on the fourth. So thank you very much, Jacob. And you've been entered in with the opportunity to win a combat patrol and a coaching call. A one to one fight. <laughs> Not cool with Mike. Not Michael of the Castello. Right, that's, that's an or, by the way. One person doesn't win both. Just, yeah. you know, spread out the, the, the prizes. Oh, so, you, so you, there's two prizes. There's two prizes? There's oh, two wow. prizes. Two oh, prizes. my God. <laughs> I'm, sh I'm signing up. <laughs> the, chair, the, chair, <laughs> the, the chair's breaking down and I'm signing up. <laughs> so I've, I've fired an uncharged plasma pistol, uh, plasma pistol cool. and it has a wound. It's just AP2, one damage um, at these infiltrators. Six of thermal pain. Cool. So a wound. They felt some pain. They did indeed feel some pain. Uh, the legionaries, the trouble here is if I shoot these death company, you'll remove this model, and then the predator can't, can't shoot you. Mm. Um, yeah, that's a problem. But, it is a problem. But how are you going to handle the problem? At the same time, I could just shoot the unit and not have to worry about them, which does sound like a pretty good... Do you think you could do it? Um, I'm, yes, I'm doing it now. Okay. It's guaranteed. Is it? It's guaranteed, my friend. That's such a waste of shots, because I just know I can't kill it. No. I've played Jordan too many times. This Dante unit is invincible. Uh, okay, so the Predator is going to shoot these Death Company here. I'm going to Pact for Exploding Fives. Mm -hmm. So I'll do the leadership test first to get it out of the way. I pass. Six shots with the Auto Cannon. Okay, uh, one goes back in for yep. the five. Strength nines at twos. Very good. Now these are AP2 because I'm shooting at an infantry unit. You have cover, so four up saves. Okay. Damage three each. All right, first one. Kills a guy. Kills two guys. Kills three. So. All right. Success. Uh, then we have the heavy bolters. My oh my, that's a lot of uh, sustained. This dark pack thing is uh, pretty strong. It's pretty strong, isn't it? Mm. Like CSM have been nerfed, but this, you know, like quite clearly, they're still yeah. punching. <laughs> like uh, me about so. seven like saves. Like me and you. AP two once again four ups. Okay, the damage two each. Yeah. So the first one. Oh my god. Uh, he's alive on one wound. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Kills him. Yep. Kills him. So two more. That's the Death Company dead. The Astra for the Grimes there. And then the Havoc Launcher. For six shots, plus one for blast. It doesn't end. It really doesn't end. <laughs> no. Five sustained. Yep. Uh, strength five. Uh, so threes. Threes to wound. There you go. That many, no AP. Uh, AP one. He actually. has a two up save. And you've got cover. So three up. Uh, you got two up. Two, yeah, two up. I know cover doesn't affect a three up you're, save. You're so. Sure. <laughs> Please just stop kicking uh, you the puppy. Two up, mate. It's just no, forwards. you don't get cover on a two up because you can't go. You can only get cover on a three got, plus. Oh, eight. I thought you had just a base two up. I do, but and I'm I, AP one. Yeah, so you'd put me to a three up. I put you to a three up. You still get cover. Yeah, yeah. You that. ignore a pip of AP. You still get cover. Yeah. I thought you, you don't, don't get, get cover if I'm AP zero. That's the only instance you don't get. Yeah, cover. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Uh, so it's just the four fail. So he's still dead. Do you have a field of pain? <laughs> no. <laughs> Astra doesn't have a field of pain. No. What? Yeah. Your boy's got done dirty. Yeah. I know. Um, <laughs> okay, that enough. was far better than mumps I've been playing that round. It would be. On this episode of Chris Learned Something today, <laughs> <laughs> the number thing Chris has now oh. learned is that I'll come I, Well, I just made the exact same mistake that George did. What? The amount of times I played my Rogal Dawn, yeah. starts on a two up, someone shoots with a minus one, 
I always say, well, I don't get the benefit of cover because yeah. you can never be better because you're under but, a three up. Because you're under a three up, yeah. yeah. And, so uh, that's I, how I always thought. I've done yeah, it for literally months. You can never take a three up months. to a two up is basically... Basically, yeah. you can never take a three up to a two up against AP zero is essentially what it is. Well, um, which you'd know if you'd watched the Academy video on cover. Well, I'm just waiting for someone to uh, send me a free membership. What's the Academy? <laughs> <laughs> Mandy <laughs> John <laughs> I think I've shot pretty much Obviously. everything um, yeah. I do have these guys left to shoot I will try and plink I won't plink any wounds because I've got pistols and a melter gun uh, these guys are out just out there out. Uh, so time to charge some things mm. I will attempt a longer charge with uh, the Master of Executions an eight that might do it yeah. eight do it yeah Curse Cowboy, I am the goes. sustained yeah. lethal hit version of Steve. And, uh... <laughs> and the nerfed version of me. <laughs> uh, and then the Lord will actually go for the infiltrators. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Just yeah. get rid of a few <laughs> units. A five. I don't think that makes it. I just can't so believe my Gregor Dawn is a two up. <laughs> five will get you within six. So I think yeah. I've told oh, okay. you as well. Right. Maybe. Just about then. Well, boom, Grinning boom. Duke, you... If you're tempted, you know what they say, always give in to your temptations. So, if you are tempted, now this, this is deadly serious, we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee. Okay? So, you could, you could literally <laughs> buy the Academy, and then after a month, you're like, nah, don't like it. Money back, no questions asked. Okay, there that's how go. confident we are in how good the Academy is. You've seen all of our student testimonials. So, if you are on the fence, just try it. Honestly, just try it because you you can just get all your money back if you want to. Mm. And Chris is now so, just so, can, so we, can we can just confirm? I can sign up to the academy tonight. Mm -hmm. Put the comment in the chat. Attempt to win a combat patrol <laughs> or a one-on-one -on -one lesson with Michael. No, a one-on-one -on -one fight is also fight, on the fight table. Is on a, <laughs> and then within the next thirty days, I could. <laughs> you could, but then Michael would know it's you and be like, absolutely not. <laughs> I'll keep well, the, no, money. the problem is, is the thing that I think both of you forgot at the very start of this video is that you said that we pick the winners from the show. <laughs> 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 so, I, I think Jake I, picks the winner. I at, pick random, the at random. <laughs> Jake picks uh, the winner at random. Jake picks the winner at random. Uh, cool. But to clarify, <laughs> you 100% could do that, and there's no way of us <laughs> taking that knowledge back out of your brain. So if you want to do that, that's fine. At least you've learned something, and you, we've made the community better. Do um, it. So it's, it's worth it to us. Um, but yeah, if you are considering it, just jump in. You can always back out if you need to. Right. Charges. Charge. I just charged there. I just yeah. charged there. I'm not charging here. No? Um, <laughs> I don't, can you kill him? I'm yeah. so sorry, Steve, I'm if you're watching. If you've got no, yeah, to be fair, Dante could probably kill him himself. Yeah. Okay, right. Well, we'll kick off with the Masters of Executions. Yep. Um, he'll waltz in, say hello to Lamartes, and uh, we'll attack. So the Master of Executions, I will pact. I'll roll the leadership now. That's it. Five attacks, hitting on twos. I am re-rolling hits because you're below starting strength. So I will fish for fives, which I do successfully. Three more. Yeah. <laughs> uh, then it is strength seven, so Three threes. Re-rolling because you are on an objective. Okay, so um, I will allocate these. doesn't really matter who I allocate these to. So um, go for it. Five saves, minus two. Oh, sorry, four saves, minus two, two damage. Okay, so I'll have to do them one. one at a time, yeah. really, because... So, five up. Cool. So, one damage. <laughs> You've killed the death company. Now the rest can just go on to Lamartis. Yep, so three... Six three. ups. And he's dead. So, okay. Well, you've got a feeling of pain against the devs. Oh, he's, he's taken wounds already, hasn't he? Yeah. Okay, I get a CP, because my Master of Execution has killed a character. Very nice. Uh, and then the Chosen will... Pile into these luckless uh, infiltrators. Yep. And I will go for um, reroll wounds for free. Yeah. And I'll go with the power fist with the uh, Lord. Because you can have a power fist and a hammer. How cool is that? Why not? Treat yourself. Treat yourself. So twos with sustained. Um, so another one goes back in there. And then strength eight with reroll all my wounds. So six saves, AP two, two damage. Cool, so five ups, 
Uh, okay. Okay. Um, six of Filner Pains. Mm -hmm. Killed the guy. Killed two guys. One on, one's on one wound. Three, Three guys. guys. Okie dokie. And then we've got a Power Fist, um, which I can reroll ones for. So four hit, uh, two misses. Two's to wound with rerolls because we're undivided. So that is three more, minus two, two damage each. One's dead. And the last guy is alive on a wound. All right. And then the rest of the squad, the, that's twin linked, that's not twin linked, and that's the last guy. So threes, rerolling the ones with four sustained. What's the AP on these? Two each. Yeah, One it's damage. fine, mate. Okay. He's dead. Fair enough. Uh, and then they're packed in case they lose another model to the Dark Gods. No, they're okay. Uh, and then they'll pile in onto this objective. And cool. yet another sign up we have in the chat that isn't Chris. It is uh, Ivan Quintero. I don't think he's just signed up because oh. he's already had his one to one session. Oh, you've already had your one to one session. Obviously, he's already got a one to one session. Very excited for it. Nice. He's nice. very excited for it. Not that he's had it. Can you confirm you signed up tonight, Ivan? Because obviously, if you have, I will enter you in our little giveaway. And and if and if it and if it well, if he hasn't, Aaron checks. Aaron sees all. He's even in the chat. That's how much he sees. He and sees not just, everything. And not just because he's extremely tall. <laughs> he's not the eye of Sauron. <laughs> like, <laughs> that means he's a literal tower. <laughs> like, I mean, Jake. He with is. one eye, <laughs> and more importantly. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> right, end of your turn. And end Ivan turn. just signed up, so thank you, Ivan. We will add you onto the bit of paper. And, and Aaron can confirm he's our VAR, I like to think. Uh, I had to call Aaron in to help. So thank you so much for that. So four sign-ups tonight. Four sign-ups, Jeremy. Four. That's insane. Uh, great. I'm going to have to get a McFlurry at this rate to cool me down from the excitement. <laughs> a Other milkshake is available. Or ice cream. Ice cream. Um, so points. Uh, I've scored area denial. For five. <laughs> for five. And I have cleansed the centre for three. So you're going to get... Uh, Eight points on the secondaries. And then George? Um, I get... Eight I hold... Yeah, eight you on the primary. Finally, some primary. Mm. <laughs> Cleanse and assassinate. That's fine, because even if he loses this, he technically wins it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can... It's better to come second, anyway. Um, okay. CP check, everyone. Right, so I'm up to two. I'm up to one. No. Uh, that objective goes next turn, doesn't it? Uh, yes, because next turn is turn five. Yep. Cool. All right. Um, I'm just debating whether or not to get rid of cleanse. Because I can't cleanse your home objective, can I? You can. You I can. can. You can cleanse my home objective. However, I, I think cultists are only OC1, actually. So I think I'm just going to get rid of cleanse. At this point, I need the points. Yeah. So that's, that's we'll get rid of cleanse. understandable. CP re -racket. Yeah, for deploy... Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, just re... Yeah, just do, redo do that one. Uh, behind enemy lines. Okay, easy. Nice. Yeah. Good, good roll. Good roll. Cool. So assassinate behind enemy lines, and I've got no CP left. Yep, and we've got Oath, Oath, Oath as well. Um, um, cool. Do you want to pop to the top down briefly while we do this turn? Okay, Aaron, hear me out. We can split the combat sorry, sorry. <laughs> But which way? But then, then Hobbsy's also pointed out you could go for a two v one against a, a mic fight. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a call. But then if the call ends in a fight, that's your problem. <laughs> How do you think this is going to go for George this round there, then Jake, or whatever your name is tonight, Jake? Um, it's I think I've just got too many men in my life. I'm I not going to lie. I think there's definitely a part of me that is going to sit there and say that because George lost out so much primary in the early game, it is going to come back to bite him. However, something that we did allude to last turn was about if George can deny the middle objective. Because the bottom one's going to get you, so we don't need to worry about that. So as long as George can deny the middle objective for Michael not to score from it, this in going into his turn, and then he scores it himself, he's in for it. And those, and those, those little fast boys there, bottom left. And also, They've if George gets captured in the outpost, we're well in. He's <laughs> well in. Those, those cultists are not going to survive against strength. Six, six chainsaws. 
Yeah. Well, no, they wouldn't. Well, they're going to win aren't they? Minus one? I think so. You think so? Mm. He says yawning. How rude. Tired little boy. Straight down the microphone. Uh, Apologies for that I'm chat. Just... Tired boy. There we go. Right. That's what we like to see. Grinning Grin. Duke. All right. I'm sold. Just signed up. The 30 day trial really sold me. Well done. So there we so, go. So the only caveat, Grinning Duke, that outside of the 30 day trial is you only get the flex picture if you are if you make it to 31 days. Yeah. Now, there we go. There's, so, a, there's a 32 day. So that is <laughs> five, five sign ups, Jeremy. Five. Um, so thank you, everybody that has signed up and you've all been entered into this to win some beautiful prizes. Um, and Grinning Duke, you know that if, you know, 30 days and then when that 31st day hits, you're getting a picture from a man in a children's shirt. There could be baby oil involved. <laughs> Depending on if the budget can handle it. Um, can we get an answer on the TV one, Mike? Mm -hmm. um, and then, really quick, sorry. So going back to the game, George said he's done with his movement phase. Really, really quickly, Michael, yet again. Uh, do they get their login info on the 4th? Um, so you should get it early in that as soon as you sign up. If you haven't, then you can fire um, uh, me an email, mike at vanguardtactics.com. Uh, we have the option to just send you a password uh, <laughs> so we can sort you out if you have any issues. Um, so on, on the 4th of March, we will essentially be spending the entire day making sure you guys have got everything that you need um, on that day, including Discord access, um, access to the course and so on. So that you can always reach out if you need to. Yeah. Amazing. So, George, yep. what do you do? So Vanguard Vets are moving towards the middle. Good. Um, and then we've got those guys moving over there. The, van the Assault Intercessors <laughs> moving over to the Cultist in case we do get their capture enemy outpost. Um, and keeping us behind enemy lines as well. So Dante is going to shoot his Inferno into your Predator. Dante's Inferno. So into the Predator. Just need a six here, Mike. Not wrong, no. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> look, mate, you can summon them on demand. <laughs> <See? You're> I... <laughs> the boy from Baal. He just do always does it against me. <laughs> uh, that is basically, it's just, just against me, he just rolls six. I am Dante. Pistol. So right, anyway, I need to wound you still, mate. So Well, you've managed to do that every right, game we Five played. to wound. There you okay, go. Cool. cool. So that's 2d6 damage. How many wounds do you have? Uh, you'll double six it, mate. Three. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Get Matt on the road now. This, this is like the... You've heard like that monologue they do about Messi. I know, like, I'm just going to walk away all The boy smug. from Rosario, Argentina. <laughs> so, uh, it, was, it was already mentioned in chat. If uh, Mike loses tonight's game... Does George do the one-to-one -one coaching lesson? <laughs> <laughs> yes, he's going to coach how to roll sixes. <laughs> only it's, with it's Dante. It's, it's, it's only it's with only, Dante's pistol. It's only with Dante that I get these sixes, <laughs> by the way, guys. Okay, so it's not, and it's not way dice. That every was, game, every game against me, that was he rolls sick, a six actually. with Dante. Um, and then Sorry, I just turn him to the side because obviously he, <sighs> you know, he drive by, killed yeah, a predator went, on full wounds pop, with pop. one shot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. Anyway, charges. Let's uh, multi-charge these two units. Yep. So I need a three because I get plus one to charge here. Cool. You're going to double one it. I'm going to double one it. Absolutely, Jacob Duran. Absolutely uh, not. Reach out via email and we'll make sure so that everything Dante. is solid on our mm -hmm. end. You haven't missed out. And to confirm the email okay. is... Because uh, I've got an 11 now. Mike at vanguardtactics.com. Yeah, so just do that, please. So let's put four into him. Mm -hmm. Boom. Does the one-to-one -one cage include baby oil? <laughs> you could rope into me, couldn't you? Oh, I could, yes. Yes, it can. It, may not be able to <laughs> it can do. <laughs> Michael's just there. <laughs> you know, well, was it Michael, Michael does have small feminine hands to push it all over. <laughs> oh, God damn. <laughs> Get that toilet loaded up for George's ties. This thing won't stop that. I mean, no. That, that was a big swing. That, that was, was a that was, massive. That was big deals. That was big wow. Well, I don't know if how big it was, but what it's going to do, like in this exact moment, but what it's going to do is mean that that unit is a hell of a lot more survivable. But as, as you know, Jules now just moved away. He's like, well, I don't need to be here anymore. I don't need to try and deny it or anything like that. And he's now pushed all onto the center. It's like he's listened to us. Yeah. Well, you, when you were talking. Mm. Oh, and the assault intercessors into the and cultists. And back yes. to the VC calendars. Like Six, do you want to move there yeah. mate? We were never off it, Dante. I'm still just trying to get three. Stephen Balls three, again. Yeah. So I think it's the only way I'm going to make a second income. Two. Two. Uh, I'll kill a couple of <laughs> To feed my Warhammer addiction. Cool. And chili cheese bites on a Wednesday on my way to the studio. Well, I did help you out there. You did. Yeah. Uh, 
that oh, are right. the fast food restaurants available, but right, Burger King so. app, game changer. <laughs> uh, do you want to do your... Um, I think I'm all right. Yeah? Yes. Okay, cool. I'm not going to intervene. Can I get a battle shock here? Aaron and Kennedy with a steel chair. Yes. So Solving Lord, problems left, right, and Chelsea. Is okay. yeah. And the Big master Aaron, of execution is not okay. So sorry, two, master of position. Cool. So to confirm, sorry, um, uh, Jacob, you won't need to send Michael an email because Aaron, our absolute uh, legend, has actually just sorted you out with your password. So thank you very much, Aaron. To that. He's just going to go to there. He's going to have to go to there. He's going to have to go there, just to keep the coherency. Cool. So I'm going to get these three Vanguard Vets, the Sang Priest and Dante into that squad, mm -hmm. and then these five into the Master of Execution. Okay, and your AP2. AP2. Dante's AP4. AP4, and I do have lethals here because I've charged. Okay, so I'm going to spend one command point to fight on death on fours. Okay, cool. So, on this unit here, yeah? That, yes, not the one guy with the stick. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Right, so there are five guys going into your Master of Executions. Mm -hmm. So twos. <laughs> Six is a lethals. Oh, I'm happy to pick him up, mate. Yeah? He's not going to survive five van pets. <laughs> okay. Sorry, Blood Angel van pets. Come on. Come on. No, no we're a bit stronger Sons than normal. Sons of Sanguineous. Ones. Exactly. Who, who was Inspired by that uh, It feat. was the uh, Lord squad down here. Mm -hmm. So, we'll do the three guys attacking into the, the Legionnaires. Or Chosen. They're Chosen, aren't they? Yeah. Cool, so we've got... Two lethals. I'll hold I may as well re-roll all of them. Just okay. to try and get my lethals. Uh, you're, only, you're winning me on threes, right? Threes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I may as well because I'm hitting on twos. Okay. It's only drop two. Three. Four. Four. <laughs> but there we go. <laughs> and then threes. Cool. So eight wounds, AP2. The lance would have been very nice. It would have been, yeah. Uh, oh, so you go. take five through. Um, that I kill... One, and put one down to one. Oh, right. kill. You're going to kill probably all of them anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, so it was four went through, right? Or yeah, five. one down. Five, uh, five went five. through. So one's got a win left. Uh, Sang priest. Yeah. Hitting on twos. Little fish here. Cool. And then we are wounding on threes. Threes. Ooh. Oh. Just two. I think AP he's two. a bit tired now. Uh, one goes kill through. The guy. Kills that guy. Big man Dante. Boom. Big man Dan twos. Man like Dan That's three lethals. Uh, we rather want. You don't want fish? No, I'm not going to do that. Traumatic Dante. fishing. Uh, and then it's twos. Mm -hmm. Oof. Oh my. Oh. Oof. Okay. He spent all of his energy, mate. He's old. AP. He spent all of his energy on Excuse that melt pistol. Can we have less age shaman. Uh, these are AP4. Hmm. AP4. Okay, so that's going <coughs> to kill both of those with four of those, yeah? So yep. two each? Yep. So one save on the Lord. He's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, Lord fight Lord. on death then. So I've got four models. There are a couple of different weapons. So the fist does not fight on death. The twin claws does fight on death. And then the other two dudes, none of them fight on death. So just one guy fights on death. And it's twin claws, so I'll resolve that now. We roll ones. Uh, I can't do any packs when I fight on death because I'm not selecting them to fight. Twin link. You've got two saves of minus two for me. One damage. Uh, Damage one. Cool, takes it. Kills that one guy. Okay. Who was it on? Uh, it's it's up to you. Off. They're all going to just pile in anyway. Yeah. Makes lots of sense. I am, however, going to hit you back now. Sure. Okay. Um, so I am going to epic challenge with my lord, and it is his time. It's his time. So I will pact for sustained. We're going to see if he can uh, do some work here. Mm. And we are going to go for um, the power fist because I want to be able to hit you. And I hit on twos with the power fist. All right. Twos. No sustained, but that's okay. Twos. So four saves. Um, two at a time, please, on your sanguinary priest. Okay, two damage. Mm hmm. Taken one damage. Okay. So I'm gonna. Two more saves. Two more. So last two, yeah? Yep. Cool. Two damage. Cheeky boy. He's only taken two. Takes two. I was really hoping to kill him because that removes the five up front of pain from the squad. Um, but my gambit failed. Yep. Sadly. So he's taken two assault intercessors. Yep. 
I'll pick my guys. Okay. okay. You got a million <laughs> attacks, and you're in on twos. Right. Um, so I get five for assassinate, Very and I get um, three for behind enemy lines. Very nice. So sorry. So to reiterate, you get eight points there. Let me just sorry. Um, eight points. There we go. Well. So, Michael. Alrighty. Last turn of the game for Last you. turn of the game. That objective sadly disappeared. Um, I got one CP. And so do you, my friend. Mm -hmm. No uh, primary. Oh, packed on this guy. No uh, yes. Packed on that guy. He fails. Um, he just takes one mortal wound. How many has he got? Uh, five, I believe. So, four left. Okay. There we go. So, um, and then cards? Cards. Right. Here we go. Give me something good. Assassinate. Doable. Capture enemy outpost. I can't redraw it and it's not doable. Um, I'm not within six with the Nord, so that's not going to happen. Nope. Sad times. Okay. So assassinate for five points. It's nearly impossible to stop you getting holding the middle. Yeah. At this rate, because if, if, they, if I do kill them by some miracle... These guys can come over and do it. Um, you're going to get 15 points. I was hoping to have a predator alive so I could extra AP or whatever and <laughs> pick up the unit. But unfortunately, that's not going to happen now because Dante's a beast with his pistol. Yes. Yes, uh, I am. Yes, I am. So I think I'm going to need a moment to go to top down. I'm going to think of all the different ways that I can play this out. And um, I'll be back with you in a moment. Right. Well, Sebi <laughs> and Chrissy. And there, sorry, I was just looking at Deaf Company. Yeah, I was so, just trying to figure out the different boxes. Will, like very, very, very big turn there. Very well played by Jord. Um, so you know, you must must give him his flowers there. So yeah. Um, but guys, it's been a fantastic stream so far as we come into the twilight hours of our lovely battle we have here. So, and, and oh, off she goes. Um, so off one goes. It's 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 taken its swings and roundabouts. Yeah. I wasn't from all the sort of sad talk that Mike had at the start when we got here. Of well, I'm just going to get charged turn one. I'm just going to be beaten off the table by turn two or three. It's it's certainly prolonged. Yes. And uh, Mike's done some fantastic plays. Obviously, he's trying to engage his, his little sad brain right now to see what he can conjure up. Yeah, there's, there, yeah, there's been some fantastic plays by all involved. Um, like George played it extremely well. Michael's played it extremely well. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see what either player decides to do uh, with that in mind. Um, and also just to say thank you, everyone. For every, you know, all the super chats, all the membership gifting, all of the um, academy signups as well. Um, so yeah, just thank you guys as well. Like I said, obviously we're not going just yet because we want to see the epic c conclusion of our battle we've had here tonight. Um, yeah. So Michael's obviously having a big think. Is this the box set, Jake? Well, of. Def that's 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 Def, Def, Def Company. Company with jetpacks. Yeah, but what's but the difference between that and just normal Def Company then? There's nothing. They come. They're the same kit, Chrissy. Uh, I see. Okay, right. It's very confusing sometimes with uh, obviously multi kits when you're buying from third party websites. Yeah, to to confirm, it's not a thirty day free trial. What it is is that it's a thirty day money back guarantee. So you ma you need the you need the original a lot of money yeah. um, before you just just as a to be extremely clear. Um, you know, because we don't want anybody thinking there's, it is a free trial. It essentially is. Um, there but is. Only, uh, providing um, that, you, but you need the money in the first place. Yeah, yeah. And, and when you do look at the website, there is uh, options for, I think, paying for. You can um, pay in four. You can pay So, in four. you know, clearly money is tight for people these days. Um, so if you can't afford the full whack, um, there is a discount for a one-off payment. Less of a discount, obviously, for the paying for, but at least it then does yeah. break the cost. It makes down it more affordable months. in a paying for. Like a lot of us nowadays, we use such devices such as Klarna, Clearpay, other <laughs> apps are provided. Um, so you know, like I can completely sympathise with people that you know it is a lot in one go. So make sure you do that. Um, no fee, thank you for joining us in this amazing journey. Um, 
<laughs> and the Disgusting Resilience podcast, uh, good old Aiden has said, what did I miss last time I tuned in? There was Night Lords hiding in the school. Uh, well, we've got all grown up and we're in college now. Yeah, they have been aggressively removed from the school. Uh, whenever they actually chose to leave off their own accord. Well, they've just chose to go big goths in the centre now, by the looks of it, from where Mike's moving them. So, did they grow up? It's not a life. Uh, it's not a. It's not a phase, Mum. It's a lifestyle. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I got your picture. <laughs> right, I'm ready. Mike is back in the room. Okay, so I've got one play, and it's um, pushed through a bunch of four pin buns and loads of feel no pains to try and get rid of this unit. Uh, and stem Jordan's primary. You uh, spent all that time it. and came up with. So just run at I them. debated some advances, <laughs> advances and charges, um, fallbacks and stuff. I'm going to do a fallback shoot and charge with the Lord. Um, yeah. When did you play it? I think it's the movement phase. Okay. Because uh, I am debating a grenade as well. Because I f could fall back and just grenade you. I think I'm going to fall back and grenade you instead. Okay. Although you don't have any interrupts, do you? No. So I'll fall back and charge. That makes the most sense. Okay, cool. Um, shooting then, I will fire my sorcerer at you. Not in range for his psychic ability, sadly. But we're throwing the kitchen sink, Jordan, at your unit. Whoa! That's, that's all we've got right now. It's a bit harsh. It's very harsh. Uh, so one combi weapon. That's not, a t that's not a kitchen sink. I was about to say toilet sink. But toilet yeah, I'll packed on uh, with sustained. So that is no hits. Nope. Uh, and then Infernal Gaze, five shots, there's no blast on it. Uh, threes to hit. Okay, and then uh, threes to wound. Okay. Okay, it's working out really, really well. Uh, it is hazardous. I'm okay. So that was really good. Uh, the <laughs> Legionary unit, the Melter Gun, nobody's wounded. Nobody's going to be wounded. Mm -hmm. uh, and then <laughs> some bolt, so one bolt gun from the sergeant and then two pistols. Uh, three pistols because of the martial executions. Okay. Uh, three regular armor saves for me, please. Regular legs. Cool. Loves it. Cool. Well, that was disappointing. Um, I will then shoot with the Lord, who I don't think actually has a gun because he's got a power fist and a um, hammer. Nice. Charge phase. Let's see what we can do. Master executions, six. So, let's go in here, base there, base there, base there, and base there. So much base. Mm. Uh, but no. Base there. And then this guy's going to so stand like base, over there. But no. Lord, do you want to just move him in? Because I can't uh, remember Yes, myself. I see what he rolls. I was thinking of buttery biscuit base, to yeah, be honest. Yeah, same. Well, that's why I thought you were going. I will base no. these just, I've got food on the mind. Cool. Okay, battle shock on both units. Uh, yep. Yeah. So the master of executions battle shock passes, and the lord fails. fails. Yeah, so yeah, no yeah, yeah. Stratagems on the lord. No trebles. No, oh, tre base. no trebles. No free strats. Which no is free about. strats. Uh, right, what master of executions wood? unit. I will what pack. I will see if I take more woods. I won't be. Uh, and then we are gonna go with the master of executions first, of course. Mm -hmm. So re-rolling hits because you're below starting strength. Uh, yeah, yeah. I will fish. I do so love to fish with this Master of Executions. Mm. Uh, and then strength seven. Threes. And you're on an objective, so I can re-roll. I think I will... Oh, that's a tough one. I'm not going to re-roll those. Okay, that was um, pretty good. <laughs> so if you could for me, please, Jordan, put two Devastating Wounds on your two wound Sang Priest. Don't the dev wounds come after saves? Oh, they do, of course, you're right. So I've got four. They may as well go on your Sang Priest. So the first one on your Sang Priest. Cool. AP? AP two. He's good. The second one on your Sang Priest. He's good. The third one on your Sang Priest. <laughs> two damage. He is dead. dead. Okay. Um, the next one, if you could do me that on a regular dude. Loves it. Cool. Uh, then if you could do me Four dev wounds on Dante. Just four dev wounds. Four dev, uh, eight dev wounds in terms of damage on Dante. Get some revenge. Uh, I'm alive on a wound. Damn it. <laughs> okay. 
Don't look too Fine. visibly frustrated. Um, <laughs> maybe I should have just hit the unit. That would have made a lot of Can sense. Can we confirm who your uh, character model is there, please, Mike? It's been it's our time. It's the master of executions. Could you also rotate him for the camera? No, it's Sev. Oh, sure. No, no, it's uh, the next no, to sorry, the... Oh, this guy. That is Sevatar yeah. from the Horus Heresy. That is indeed Heresy. Sevatar from the Horus Heresy. Thank you. Um, I mean, that, that's a very good. Yeah, very nice. Panel mm. part. Right, the power fists. Okay, uh, I will fish. No, that uh, was not worth it, but that's okay. Eight down, hits, yeah. twos, cocked. That was a hit, and re-rolling because you're on an objective. There you go. All of those four in ones, please. Oh, terrible! No, it's two damage, but you still have a feeling of pain because yep. it's the same unit. So first one, he's alive on a wound. Kills that guy. Mm -hmm. Two guys dead. Three, Three guys dead. dead. Three and a half. Four. Four go down, and then we've got two, uh, one chain sword. Uh, they do hit. Uh, <laughs> I'm fish. So they, two go in. Uh, Aiden from the Discussions podcast, I presume, has Rerolling. said. Sa Surface Snake one. from the Harry Heresy. <laughs> one damage it costs. Yeah. So dead, and one carries over. Take it. Uh, and then three basic attacks. Uh, Rerolling everything. So three hits. Uh, three more, no AP. Loves it. Okay, that guy lives. Right, then, of course, the Lord. So the Lord will go with his um, Thunder Hammer. I'll reroll wounds for free again. He can't use Battle Shot. Oh, I will not use any stratagems because mm -hmm. I'm Battle Shocked. Yep. Uh, so I will Pact. Can you bat Pact if you're Battle Shocked? So just real quick while you're that. solving mm -hmm. that. Uh, Warmaster Will, thank you so much for becoming a VT member. I did play you on the weekend, I believe, as Chris is telling me. Uh, that is you. I uh, had a fantastic game, so thank you so much for that. Um, and Crinning Duke, to confirm, you can redeem your photo of Chris flexing on Steve on your 31st day of the Vanguard Tactics. The Academy. same day you can actually claim your combat patrol. Yes. <laughs> 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 yeah. Amazing. Right. All right. So the Dark Prince, Sevatar himself, five attacks with his power fist. I will pact, even though I'm battle shocked, because it apparently makes no difference. Okay, sure. Um, and I will go for sustained hits. I'm going to have to do so many uh, bicep so... days between now and then. Cool, so I get an extra hit. Uh, and then it's twos to wound. Uh, I don't get to reroll any wounds. So that is four, four invulnerables, please. I'll take a couple, so damage two each. Cool. Alrighty. Then my attacks into your Chaos Lord? Uh, yes. Uh, I didn't get my opportunity to consolidate. No, nope. it wouldn't make much difference. It's just like that. Around that one guy. Cool. So the two Vanguard Vets. Mm -hmm. um, I am rerolling hits because you're my oath target. Mm -hmm. uh, no leaf also. Okay. But I am wounding you on toughness four. Toughness four. Cool. So that's six saves, please. AP six one. saves on the Lord. He's a beast, so he'll be fine. One wound. Okay. Three remaining. Just Dante. Okay. Just Dante. The, the ultimate fight. Sevatar versus Dante. All hit. Um, I'm winning you on three, so. Cool. Five involved, please. Five invuns. Can Sevatar survive Dante? This is huge. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well. Well, uh, I mean, I mentioned Sevatar and he came through. He did. So, uh, so that's huge. Again, real quick, fastest slow poke. Bit of mm -hmm. more on there. Um, you do still get the feel no pain in the attack sequence because all the attacks are assumed to be done simultaneously. So that's, that's right. Yeah. Why? Yeah, but you'll notice that when the Lord fought, the Van Vets didn't get the feel no pain. Yes, and that is correct. Dumbledore. <laughs> Um, okay. We're discussing how Sevatar, Sevatar Snape was from the Harry Heresy, and everybody has now decided to go on a mad one in the chat. The Harry Heresy. Uh, the Harry and Heresy. even a and then Aiden apologised for making the chat absolute chaos, then proceeded to come back in with Dumble Dante. Um, so that is very good. Dumble Dante. Dumble Dante. Okay. <laughs> um, so I get five points for assassinate. Very good. Um, and I will ditch Catching Me Outpost for CP. 
Very good. Putting so, me on two going into Jordan's turn. Uh, you gained a CP already because you killed a character, right? With the I didn't add that on, but oh, okay, it, sure. Same sure. result. Same right. result. You're still going to discard. So well. two two um, CP going into your turn. So going into your turn, Jordan. Yep. Primary wise. Um, I score at the end of my turn. Oh yes, that's the very important. Um, and my cards CP are. Check. Um, I got two. Mike's got two. Yep. Uh, so I get capture enemy outpost. Oh, yeah, nice. amazing. And I knew it was going to happen. <laughs> okay, what was the other one? Investigate signals. Aye. Very nice. I will put your boys Have on Have we even here. played 40k cool. if we've not investigated a signal? Um, well, well, Will on maybe. the weekend got a big I will spend the CP the to fall back. Uh, you got to do battle shot first, my friend. Would you oh, like yeah. to spend the CP on that? Um, How much faith do you have in Dante? All the faith. Uh, they'll be the Oath target. That of big course. unit. Yes. Um, what do you have there that can hold that objective by the end of your turn? I'm going to do it, yeah, because I need, I need it to, to pass. You, so, have, yeah. you literally have to pass it. So, yeah, they're going to fall back and charge. Okay. So, bang. bang. So, just confirm you've been saying bravery, yeah? Yep. yep. And fall back and charge. So, you've got no CP. No CP. Very good. Delightful. Right. That's on him. Oh no, that's not on him. Don't know who that's on. Uh, cool. Oh, it's on Dante, isn't it? Dante's on Dante one. only has a wound left, yes. Right, shooting phase. I can't shoot because I fall back and charged. Um, so charge phase. We're just going into the Master of Executions unit. Mm -hmm. Here we go. The ultimate fight. This is, this is the big one. This is the banker. This is the one that couldn't fail. Oh, it's such a shame Sevatar's battle shot to have intervened potentially. Yep. I'm going to move him out of the way for the camera. He's, he's watching. He's okay, he can't, can't affect the, the battle. So we'll do the Vanguard Vets first. Uh, yes, I'll do your battle shot first. Yep. It's pretty big. I and have you failed. failed. So I think you might win the game on that. Yeah. You might win the game on that. So I'm battle shot. I have no OC and I have no stratagems. <laughs> right, so the Vanguard Vets. What can you do? I love how Aiden apologised to putting our chat in chaos um, that keeps coming up with absolute hangers. Re -roll for legions. Harry, did you put your legion no, in the job side like massacre? On <laughs> cool. I'm winning on threes anyway. Mm -hmm. Ten points. Cool. So, that many AP1s. Right, this many AP1s. Oh, you should have. Two. Oh, okay, sure. I'll take that. Well, I, so I was planning to fight on death. Yeah, I know. Um, but you <laughs> battle shocked me with your silly ability. Right, Dante's attacks. Yes. I mean, he's probably going to do it himself. Two. Cool, that's nine. Nine. <laughs> AP three. Go on, George. Go on, so Dante. You need th uh, three at a time, right? Because uh, It's up. the same save on everyone. No, no involves. There's no... On the... This is why fight on death would have been massive. Okay, so six up. The little boy so from Baal. Six up. Can they do it? They can do it, probably. So it's, those three are dead, and that guy is so dead. The little boy from Baal. <laughs> right at the end, <laughs> with the battle shot. And now he's ruined it, minus 40. <laughs> well played. Good battle shot, sir. Thank you, thank you. you um, and a... let's give you some points. You so... wouldn't steal a handbag. You wouldn't steal a car. No. You would send your brother's legion into the chop site massacre, however. <laughs> I um, would. <laughs> right, so uh, scores on the doors, boys. So, George, what points are you going to get? Uh, I get capture enemy outpost that turn. Uh, Eight. Massive yeah. points. And 15 on the primary at the end of the turn. Oh, 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 oh. oh, it is beautiful. It is majestic. And the fact that Dante single-handedly done all those points for me. Yeah, <laughs> basically. So, everyone, first things first, we need to say a massive, massive, massive thank you to... Your Why? Monday. You haven't been keeping track of No, you added two points on oh. the Oh, did you? Oh. No, you did. Oh, I did. Well, the oh, thing is, I've been trying to keep track of this game. You were supposed to keep track of yeah, yeah. points. Jake, I've been doing other important things. you've been too busy things. shopping. Right. And looking at Instagram. Yes, very good. Right, anyway, so before Women. we go into that, massive thank you to the YouTube chat for everything. Um, I, I did get it wrong. Don't say anything in the chat. Um, so massive thank you to everyone in the chat for being so awesome, uh, especially with Aiden coming in at the end, giving me a good giggle. Um, <laughs> we do have a 4.99 uh, super chat from Adam Goose saying my mortgage is safe. Uh, so very good. Uh, we had five people count it, five sign up to the Vanguard Taxes Academy during the stream. Massive, massive. And before we announce the winners of this, we will know the scores. Michael. Yes. With your luscious locks. 
Thank you. And you're very red faced. Mm. <laughs> yeah. You have fought valiantly. Thank you. And today you have left the game with fifty seven points. Yeah, okay. It's just primary. Just it's just the mission. The mission. Yeah, yeah, the mission on it is so horrible on this mission. George, mm. the little boy from Baal, that grew up to be what he always wanted, <laughs> a sanguinary guard <laughs> in the eyes of his chapter master. Can he win the game? Your score ends in a seven. But it starts... With a six! So he's won a game of 40k, well everyone! <laughs> like I would say. Can you, I just, please, please don't do that. Some of us in this room have PTSD. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, George, you finally won a game of 40k. Something, on stream. <laughs> so for, for once, George, you finally came first. <laughs> like, a legitimate first for a, a change. <laughs> so a massive congratulations. So before we announce the winners, when is the VT Academy is starting? It's been playing throughout the whole stream. We've only just joined us. It's the 4th of March, isn't it, Michael? That's right. Monday coming. Monday coming. So we've sold five spaces. So we had 13 with the two. So we've got 10 left. I believe, if my maths is yep, right there. that's right. Um, so, guys, if you do want to sign up still, and you do want to check it out, um, all the links are in the description. But, Chris, we've got to pick a winner. We do, and I've done it as fairly as I can, so we're going to involve... Well, we might as well involve the winner, I suppose. He's going to roll a dice for us. So... And you re-roll a six? Or... Well, you, <laughs> can you, I, it, it can will, I put in a He six? will be re-rolling a six. So we've had five sign-ups. I will read out the numbers so everyone knows exactly transparency. So number one will be Ivan. Number two will be Alan Sutherland. Number three will be Grinning Duke. Number four will be the Canadian Nightmare. So and... Is this the Combat Patrol or the Call? Cool? Let's uh, do the combat patrol. Let's first. do combat patrol first because that was that was the initial hype, wasn't it? Okay. Uh, and number five will be Jacob Durant. Okay, so you ready? That, they are our numbers. It's going to be a Four. six. Been <laughs> <the whole game. laughs> so luckily, one CP reroll. So five. number five. So that is Jacob Durant with the combat patrol box. Congratulations! Congratulations, Jacob. Now. Again, if you want to get in contact for the Combat Patrol, Michael, who do they need to contact? So send an email to Aaron at VanguardTactics.com. Aaron That's is watching live. A-A-R-O-N well. at VanguardTactics.com. Amazing. So congratulations, Jacob. You can claim a Combat Patrol of your choice. And then for the second pick, this is the one-to-one -one coaching call or equally fight with Michael. <laughs> um, it's a four. Number four. So the Canadian Nightmare. Amazing. So everybody... Thank you so much. So again, for the Canadian Nightmare, who do they need to contact for the one-to-one -one coaching call, Michael? This bond? So that will be obvious. Mike at VanguardTactics.com because it, that call will be with me. Amazing. And Grinning Duke, you drop Steve a message. We'll talk about that <laughs> photo. <laughs> Grinning Duke's the real winner here, in my opinion. Um, guys, thank you so much. You guys have been, both you, Michael, George, have been a fantastic opponent, showing really the ethos that we try to exhibit here at Vanguard Tactics. So thank you very much for that. Yeah, Pretty what a game. game. Yeah, what a game. Honestly, like, just madness. Dante pulls off so many tricks. I don't Absolute know how madness. he does it for me. I don't know how he does your, your magic with him. I don't know I, what I genuinely happens. just, I, I love he, the guy so much. He just he, works for you. Yeah, he yeah. Is it's crazy. The lead or messy. Um, I have to say that that Master of Executions. Oh, he's probably disgusting. the MVP. Other than Dante, he's the MVP, right? Absolutely disgusting. Um, so if you're a CSM player, definitely check out Master of Executions. Mm. Fantastic. Um, but yeah, well played, Jordan. No, Thank well, you once again. Well played, mate. Superb game. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. And Chrissy, right. thank you for being a lovely uh, co commentator. Anyway, half the time you were buying models and. <laughs> I was feeding the hobby. Feeding the hobby. You were That's feeding all it was. the hobby. I was watching, I was paying attention. And I can't help but I feel inspired by the son of Baal. With, with the tag team of Hanson and Slumming It, no one can stop us except maybe a mirror. And then finally, Sebi, thank you so much for being tech support and just also being the person I can look at when I'm trying to have a conversation because Chris is too busy. Um, and Billy, the giggly ghost, thank you so much for all the giggles and potentially setting off what nearly sound like a bomb in the studio. And we will see you all on another live stream next week. Same time, same place. So don't miss it. And we'll see you all a little bit later. Goodbye. <laughs>